Oh, yes. So you must have cheated there. You must have cheated. You, you, you were bringing yourself in before the end of them what, credits there. Was that, was that a false start? No, I was in. Like a bullet out of a gun. I don't know what Hello. happened there. I think my internet dropped out straight away. Hello. Yeah, Hello. Mine, too. mine too, Rick. Uh, definitely internet. Definitely. <laughs> Are we live? Are we live? What number is it? 121. Yes. One to one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Ideal Home Show, episode 121. On tonight's show, we're joined by James from imsquonka.co.uk, John from justadnick.co.uk, Rick from stealthfate.co.uk, <laughs> and myself, v 1 ck on the YouTubes. Yay! We are um, expecting Brad later on. He's um, practicing giving birth. It's technical, it? technically correct, isn't it? He's constipated, I think. He's, he's, he's doing potential parenting practice. Brilliant. He's just standing outside brilliant. the school shouting at the bigger boys. For <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he'll be joining us later. We also have a very special guest that we'll bring on in a second. Royally, royally no doubt. No doubt, no less. No less yes, no vaping royalty. Knighthood hmm? bestowed. It's nearly royal. Does, does a knighthood make you right? No, no, not at all. Not at all. No, no. Uh, member of the British Empire. Member yeah. of the member of the vaping empire. Yes. MVE. Yes. Um, okay. Alan, also on tonight's show, we have the Hall of Fame regulated mods this week. We have Travava, things that remind you of vaping aren't really vaping at all we yep. have do we have a mod showcase rick yes we've got three mod showcases tonight do we have hot or not nah drop not this week giving that a little rest yeah i want to go to sleep before tomorrow and um we have do not adjust your tv sets we also have later on on the show a reading from the oh drunk. yes, Ooh. we're owed a double reading though this week, aren't we? Because we I'm missed one last week. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a bonus haku. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yes, so that's we'll a also, try of the top one. Yes, <laughs> we'll uh, yeah, the haiku, there'll be a haiku later on from Trump himself in the troll corner. <laughs> um, so, without further ado, shall shall we get a guest on straight away? Go on. Yeah. Okay, a man that needs no introduction. Pretty woman. <laughs> <laughs> a man synonymous with vaping. Um, Snapbacks. He's got, he wears clothes. Uh, the second most recognisable snapback wearer. Does he squonk? He's a knight of the vaping realm. Yes. He's, uh, he, he does videos on YouTube like us. He does a live show with Dimitri. We'll talk about that later. Um, without further ado, don't forget to unmute yourself, Vinny. Uh, Vinny! Sir Vaping A Lot. Does that work? Sir, sir Vaping. Sir Vape A Lot. Yay! It's time to go. Yeah, cool. there he is. Hey! <laughs> what is up, guys? Hey. Thank you for having me on. I realise I'm the only one without an actual website, though. I need to get myself a .co.uk or something. No, I don't really have one. Sell people's clothes, sorry. Oh, thank you for having me on, guys. Honestly, very oh, welcome, mate. You. Yeah, good to see you, Vincenzo. Very good oh. to see you, mate. It's very good to see you. Um, right, let's just get into our usual beginning um, the much criticized bit where we talk about food. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I thought people love this bit. It's my favorite. Bit. It. Well, it's it my must be bit. more entertaining than talking about vaping. I mean, it's a bit boring vaping, isn't well, it? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, whenever there's any food related on the site, uh, on sorry, on the page, uh, the, it goes mental. It goes absolutely mental. People love talking about food. I thought the, the chicken or beef, um, chicken beef or lamb. The chicken, yeah, the chicken or beef poll got more noms and votes than yeah. the Hall of Fame. People love talking about food. I get PMs all the time. What are you having in your sandwich today? It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so, yeah. my, my, uh, my Instagram post, it's nearly all cooked meats. Nearly all cooked meats. That's, that's all I'm doing. I love it. 
So we, we, so we love it. So there we go. Up nice. yours. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Rick. Rick Grove. Hello. Um, okay. Okay. So how has your week been? Um, what are you vaping on? What are you drinking? What did you have for lunch? And what did you have for breakfast? And if you had to become a professional boxer, what would be your boxer nickname? Oh, I like it. Oh, you know, you know, like uh, Rick the 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 Terror Grove or something like that. Or... Okay, okay, I'll have to think about that one. Uh, right, how's the week been? Week's been good. It's been bu- busy because of the snow last week. Mm. Yes, so we had a busy. We had a busy. We worked at the weekend. Uh, on the Sunday, because we were behind, um, and we got through our backlog by about by Wednesday, we were caught up Ooh. completely. Um, and today was our it was a good day because I moved all the stuff out of the unit, and I'm off work Monday and Friday, or Friday tomorrow and Monday, because they're finally getting around to fixing up my unit and getting a new floor down. Yeah, so, really going to be behind again next week, but Monday evening I'm going to be moving everything back in there and. Working very hard, but no, really good, positive. About time. It's been hard this year with that happening, but uh, yeah, very good, good, good week as usual. Every week's good. What else? What am I drinking? I'm drinking Dead Pony because I've been out for a few beers this afternoon, so I'm on the weaker ones now. Um, I was a little bit squiffy earlier actually. I only had three three drinks down the pub, but they're six and seven percent was and yeah, that afternoon drinking vibe, uh, isn't it? Very nice, though. Very nice. I haven't done it for a while. And, yeah, so we went and had a couple down there after work. Um, what am I vaping on? No, what did I have for breakfast? So for breakfast, what did I have today? I had, I had a strange breakfast today. Different. I had, I've got to remember, that's it. I had tuna mayonnaise. Tuna mayonnaise, like sandwich filling, on some crackers. On crackers? Yeah, that's it. On crackers and for lunch, I oh, chili leftovers today. We're not your normal mince chili. We had a nice joint of beef at the weekend. Oh, nice, That's medium nice. rare. I might add, nice. probably more, re- yeah, medium rare. I'd say it was a little bit bloody still. Um, so we only had half of that and we had chopped the, the other half up and had a proper chili con carne. Nice. So we had leftovers of that today. <coughs> um, what else? Vaping. Vaping on, right? I'm vaping on a couple of different couple of different things this week. I've dug out this trick tank. I've been using this. Got my old trick tank on a rogue. Um, I remember it being good, and I put one lot. I, you know, I use I put one lot of calls in it when I first got it, and used it for a week and shelved it. I thought I quite fancy giving tanks a go again. It's been quite a while. Um, so you yeah, blowing some sickos? Sorry, Are you blowing some fat? Oh, not very, I'm not very good at it, look. I'll do them a little bit. Yeah, better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Down the vape shop, they call me Trick Grove. <laughs> that, could be a, that can be a boxer now. Yeah. <laughs> they could be, can it? Yeah, so I'm on the Trick Tank on the Rogue, and I'm also on my Goon, on my trip, on my double dual parallel Skonker MM1. Um, I and both of those got voodoo brew in them. Uh, I'm on my KO Chris Scott McKenzie with a haku, nice. and I'm just do you know what vaping at this what, 26 watts as opposed to whatever that is was well, 0.15 with two you know, that's, uh, on a parallel, it'd be about 70 watts, probably 70 80 watts. I'm not getting through much juice, I'm still on the on the dregs of can only be mine. So I'm yet to get stuck into the the final one of those, which I did mix up today. Hmm? I don't know what it's called. I don't even know where it's gone now. There it is. I can't read it because the writing's so small on there. Can only be... Reserve? Yeah. We got there in the end. Can only be reserve. Yeah. So I'll get into that next week. But I'm on can only be mine on the haku on that. And I've got to say thanks to Richard for sending me this, the Cryos 2. And I dug out my old 100-watt SX350. 
I w yeah, Tim Davis did this box for me. A little bit. I think it's when we first started doing the show, actually. It was almost straight away. Um, Which one was that? Well, he, sent me, he sent me a couple of boxes that had... Uh, oh, <laughs> he etched them. When he first started etching, now look at what he's doing. You know, Tim Davis, if you don't know, he does some... one. I think he does all of Nigel's buttons. He he takes tube mechs and etches them. They're as lovely as the Rogue etch, the LE Rogues. So he does a really good job etching anything he touches. Now he's very good at it. Probably the best in the UK at the moment, I think. Uh, so, yeah, I've got the... SX350 with the Cryos uh, 2, and I'm giving that a good go. I'll tell you what I think of it next week, because I haven't really, I haven't even got through a quarter of a tank on that yet. Very uh, good. But yeah, thanks for that, Richard. No, sir. And that, that's, uh, that's what I'm vaping on. Right, rest, rest, did you say wrestler? No, no boxing. Boxing. <clears throat> boxing. <clears throat> boxing. Uh, Rick Balboa Groves. No, it's, um, I haven't Rick, got an Rick S in Balboa. my surname either, though, have I? <laughs> I had a good I had a good one from uh, um John Malcolm in chat. <clears throat> he thought Rick the Nurling Grove was quite good. The Nurl. Or it could be the Nurler. I'll be the Nurler. <laughs> Rick, nice. Rick nice. the Nurler Grove. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, that'll be I it. Like. Right. Who do I ask? Who do I ask? John. John. Yes. I'll ask you. How's your week been? What did you have for lunch? And I want to know in depth. I, I don't don't scrimp on the lunch. No, I'm, 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 got a, go food heavy this week. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, what are you vaping on? And what would you do if you were invisible for a day? <laughs> Just go into a shop. Wait, wait, wait for it to close. Wait for it to close. Forget they wait for it to open in the morning and leave for the record. <laughs> that was a Carl Pilton joke. Still funny. I will think about the invisible thing while I do the rest. Uh, <clears throat> I've had a great week. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, it's been a good week. It's been a good week. Busy, 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 as always. Uh, went out for dinner last night with the boss man and uh, the boss lady and my 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 life partner who's also a boss of me and uh had a celebration of one year of just had nick it was good it's good it's good i was trying to go oh yeah because we're getting food heavy fuck it i had yeah, uh, I, I had very thinly cut tuna and um, they'd been seared you know like it was like razor thin the homemade coleslaw and um type thing and little little spots of um horseradish cream around the outside it's very nice and for a main I had pan seared um, duck breast with um, was like a lovely creamy mash. It was perfectly seasoned as well. And then some roasted root vegetables like jumbled over it. it very good. Very nice. As pudding, I had a baked Alaska uh, lemon meringue. So it's like vanilla ice cream with swirls of meringue, blow torched, and then there was one of those. Things of um, of uh, like lemon curd. It was it was fucking great. Really liked it. And some beers. It's very nice. And well um, deserved, I reckon. Well deserved, mate. Yeah, well done. well done, John. Congrats. It was really, it was really, really good. Oh, it's it means so much more. Uh, did the whole thing with um, Simon from the start, so it's been it, it's been awesome. Um, well, I've only got two selves today. Two, two selves. Um, one of them is the mod that I still don't know what it's called. I don't know what it is. Someone's tell me. Is it in, uh, oh, a Rulo RX 75? It's my work day mod. And, oh, fuck's sake. Sorry, I can't even remember what this is either. Let's take it off. Uh, the Hasta in mouth to lung RTA. This, is a, this has become an everyday use for me. They seem to be going down well, those atties. Oh, great. And the only thing I did, I uh, dropped it on the unit floor the other day and cracked the glass, and the arse tank became the unwitting donor of its glass tank. So it was a spare one. Wow, it's the same size. Mm -hmm. That was old. Top that tip. Was handy. That was handy. That's um, always handy. Uh, do, 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 oh, what well, else? Get next. Next thing I've got <clears throat> just bought by the boss from Shapeworks. Is that right? Shapeway. Shapeways. Shapeway. 
Shapeways, Shapeways. Uh, and it is young Mr. Uh, Rick, the Nerling um, Groves design. It's Gonka in white. Yay. Oh, you've got the button as well with a little MM on it. Have you seen there's an MM on the button? Oh, yeah. No, I do now. That's handy if you've got the creator in front of you. Inside, it has got Mod Maker parts as well. If you want those parts, just go on the Google, type in Mod Maker and find it. Hey, nice. Um, and on top of that, I've got a B2K um, special edition with a gold plating. And inside it, I've got... Um, oh, shit. I didn't tell you what the other one was. Uh, that one by um, Corvette, which I really like. Nice, a 12 milligram cloud. Oh, it's always delicious. Um, <laughs> 45 milligram. <laughs> have a go, have a go, my at at Jam Boo. Yeah, cough up along. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I've got 45 milligram cact no, not cactus. Oh, lemon crack in the um, pasta. Nick salt, though. That's Nick salt, yeah. it's not. It is not. No, it's not free base. Um, I'm drinking um, Ghost Ship, but I was also drinking. Wow, what the fuck am I drinking? Oh, that other one. Oh, Speckled Hen. Old Speckled Hen. I've got a vintage old Speckled Hen as well. It's good. Mm. If I was invisible for the day. Now, I would say the ladies' changing room one, yes. but I reckon that's not as good. No. I think just wait by a bank vault door like that and then just run in, grab it, and stick it in my bag. Um, I don't know. Yeah, well, I know what I do. The bag's invisible I... as well, though. The, ba the bag might not be invisible. And even if the bag was invisible, when you put the money into the bag, does the money still, does that, does that become invisible? No, I, think, I just... think they'd be weirded out by it, right? Because I went to a backpack party recently and I got a really <laughs> nice big bag. And I would just, I'd run in, chuck the big stack of bundle of notes in, <laughs> bundle of notes in, and then run out. And they'd just be, it'd be like a five foot, and they'd be just going, what the fuck is that? And I'd really be gone. <coughs> but, You'd have your whole yeah. life in that backpack, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah exactly. And I'd just keep on running. And then I'd have that money. And then I'd probably pay to go into a woman's change room. i just sit there. <laughs> All the support. It'd have to be an Anne Summers one, though. Yeah, that by I actually think that would be <laughs> unbelievably bad. <laughs> so it, would be a, it would be a perverted invisibility then. Yeah, no, no, visibility would be perverted. I'd do it the next day for like <laughs> four grand, just pay you to be in a women's change room, completely visible. <laughs> and that takes right. all of the fun out of it. That takes all of the. If you're gonna if you're gonna be in there, I'm, and I'm just that's not what I would do if I was invisible. I just want to say that there, in case my wife's watching this in the morning. I would not be I would not be doing if you're gonna perv, you can you can perv and be seen and peer for the perv, and that's that's You've got to be nicked like two hundred thousand pounds the day before. It's fine. But but if you if you want to steal something, why not steal information that's worth much more than two hundred thousand pounds because you because but, but you're always invisible trying to sell when it you want to try and do something like sneak into Buck, buckingham palace or something and uh, go and make a sandwich or something in the kitchen i think i'd just like I to have a bathroom, day, though. I could, bathroom. I, I could probably fit that in <laughs> yeah or you could you could do some good by killing someone horrible <laughs> nah, that's not you, bad. You could fly over to the states and do old trumping or something, nip in the White House and kill him with your invisible dagger or something, and then go to the bank down the road and then pay to go in a changing room the next day. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's it. That's where that's that's the whole bundle. That's what I'm doing. Right, I'm going to move on. To, I'm going to go Vinny. I'm going to go Vinny. Vinny, oh. Vinny, 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 Vinny. Vinny, how's your week been? <clears throat> what are you vaping on? Oh. Oh, yeah, I didn't even say, what did I have for tea? I had porridge for tea. It was delicious. It was delicious. Um, what did you have on porridge? Did you have just plain porridge? Are you a sugar man? Are you a, uh, are you a, uh, a maple honey syrup. man? Maple, maple syrup, syrup actually. Yeah. Just a little bit of maple. It's just maple. better. It's nicer. I've heard people put uh, salt on porridge. No. Uh, Gus no. does. And talking Gus? to Gus, Gus yeah, is coming sure. back. Yeah, he is. Well, the vaping well better watch out because there's going to be some ball bag kicking in. Is he coming? <laughs> is, he, is he coming back or is he popping back? He's coming back. 
to the oh, country. No, no, just at a holiday, though, wasn't it? I don't yeah. think so. He said he was talking about family situations and things and doing... I don't know. Gus, tell us. Gus. Gus, tell us. And not only that, Gus is going to be 30 miles away, so I hope he wants to pop down to the coast because uh, his free, uncomfortably creepy hugs. Just here. Yeah. yeah. So, um, salt on porridge, though, is not right, is it? No, it's no, not right. We're going to have to go, we're going to, have to go to Paul Vinny. Don't even confuse. Not from the ramble. Right. <clears throat> Vinny. Yes. How's your week been? What are you vaping on? What did you have for dinner? No, no. Just swap that round. How's your week been? What did you have for dinner? What are you vaping on? What are you drinking? Oh, and I don't care if you wouldn't normally go in there, but if you were in a kebab shop, gun to head, what would you order? What's what's the what's the thing you want in the kebab shop? Oh. I see. I don't think anyone would need to put a gun to my head to go into a kebab shop. Just check. I didn't want somebody. I didn't want you to go. I'm a vegetarian now. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I.e., what the vegetarians eat. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah uh, vegetarians eat what my food eats. <laughs> yes, or along those lines. Yeah. So yeah. Um, wow. Well, my week. My week's been eventful. It's been an eventful week. I've got to say. Um, interesting interesting but uh yeah turning out all right actually uh, <laughs> turning out not too bad which is nice i'm on here so you know it's got to be better you know, it's, it's, be. it's coming up vinny <laughs> it's coming up vinny yeah look on the bright side that's it um so yeah eventful week for myself um uh, what am i drinking next is that right yeah. um yeah, yeah, yeah. we have dinner oh sorry sorry you don't need to know what you're drinking as well Okay, yeah, so um, what did I have? To, I actually had, has anyone else had the Grand Big Mac from McDonald's? I, I thought it was a crushing disappointment, but I have to add it. See, I, I love it. I can't get enough of it, honestly. This oh, week I've had like three of them. I just need it, uh, Do you know what I genuinely thought it would be? A quarter pounder bun. Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be two quarter big, pounders. Yeah, I'm big uh, the quarter pounder. I did think that as well. But the thing is, I don't know why. It's, it annoys me because it's only for a limited time only. And I'm trying to get the most of it as I can because the normal Big Mac, it shouldn't be called a Big Mac. It should be called a regular Mac. It's tiny, you know. <laughs> Skinny little patties, don't they? I mean, they're not even, they're tiny, aren't they? they, they no, they're they're the very, patties. very slim, very, very slim. Have you tried the, the, the Junior Mac, Vinny? I have. I don't like the Junior Mac. I think, almost like a juice review, I think the sauce overpowers it too much. You need that extra bit of bread in there to kind of soak up some of that sauce. See, I love that sauce. I, I, I like that about the Junior Because I, I wouldn't normally get just a small a small sort of single single burger type uh, affair from McDonald's. But I thought, it's a limited legacy here, limited time. Got to give, got to give them all a go. So I forgoed. The uh, the Grand Mac and tried uh, tried a couple of those uh, Mac Juniors and, and, I, and I quite like that I quite like that saucy ratio. However, I do think the Big Mac is the OG. Well, and what happened? To, if you, I tell you, you know, every too often they bring the McRib back. I only oh. know they brought it back because my boss Simon, he just goes AWOL. This is him in a lay by crying and eating. <laughs> <McRib>. <laughs> He's driving down the motorway and he sees the billboard for the for the, for the McRib. Yeah, the if you got a McDonald's next to a Burger King, would you pick McDonald's? No. See, that's hard. I think Burger King burgers are just more substantial. Yeah, way better. Uh, yeah. Way They're better. flame grilled as well, aren't they? So yeah, XL bacon double cheeseburger. Oh, oh, get flame grilled it. Quick that's all you need, John. The bacon double cheeseburger. Extra. Number five on the menu, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's number five. <laughs> It's just the best burger that you could ever have. A bacon. They're flame grilled initially, but they're actually microwaved when you buy them. They are. They are. My, my, my local Burger King is terrible. The the buns must be frozen. We, that thing where the buns are they're no longer got no sponginess. You put your finger in them and you leave finger marks in it. And then by three bites in, the bun is just dissolving. It's all, the, my local Burger King is terrible. So I, <laughs> <laughs> that's. My, <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. <laughs> There's a couple of Burger Kings near me, and one of them is is terrible. It's, well, it's never busy, so the buns are always <laughs> stale. So I never go there. <laughs> I feel bad they're not busy, but the buns are terrible. Um. So okay, what am I drinking? Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Um. I so recently I've come back from from Bruges, Belgium, and I fell in love with is it Leffe? Leffe? Leff. 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 Left, blonde one, strong, isn't it? It's good. It's, oh my god, there it's six point six percent, and out there, that's like it's their equivalent to something like Foster's. They just drink it all the time. Yeah. It's crazy. Like that's that's their session. But I overheard a waitress saying to someone that 
ten percent is is classed as strong to them, but here ten percent is pr- practically unheard of. Nice. No, with the, that's IPA, with the IPAs and the beers that I drink, they're all like the the smallest is the lowest is about six percent, but. Mm. You don't drink. You're not sculling pints of it. You'll have a heart. Mm. You'll have a two thirds of a pint instead of a pint of Stella or whatever. You know, yeah. it's well, probably I, the same amount of alcohol. You just hang it out a bit. I, I learned that out there because in Bruges the prices. Oh, I went to one place and it was like twenty euros. Not even for a pint. I think it was like two thirds of a pint. Twenty euros. I walked in and I walked back out. I was like, <laughs> no, definitely not. I'm not justifying that. No matter how much I want to drink That's it. So much. There. That's crazy, but it, it was one of the locations that they've done the film in Bruges. Oh, it's yeah. a wicked film! Yeah. Great film. Um, I love that film. I watched that film when I was out there, and I googled all the locations, and I went to pretty much all of them. So I'm have to go back to finish it off. But I love that film so much. The American scene that I refuse to describe is, is amazing. It, is it the funny things? It, is it the one where he's on the phone? No, the one where no, when they're about to go up the tower. <laughs> and a warning yeah. that it might not be a great idea. Oh my god! I, I love me crying at that. I was I was laughing so. Much. <laughs> it's when he's chasing him though. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, I um, we play the end track of that movie, Raglan Road, which is like the last track that they play. It's just amazing. I'm a sad folk, folky kind of Irish piss song lover, and I, it's fucking brilliant. Raglan oh. Road. All. I love that soundtrack, honestly. Um, I swear one of the restaurants I went in actually played some of the soundtrack from there. Cause I, was, <laughs> I was eating and I was in the middle of a conversation with my partner and um, I just said, shh, stop talking. I was like, <laughs> for it. and she just looked at me like, what? What did you say? <laughs> Fuck face. What was that? <laughs> I literally put my hand up to her and said, stop talking. Fuck that it, was bro. interesting. But that's uh, what that, uh, films and soundtracks, they... Um, films make give you more of a connection to the music, don't they? Yeah. Because yeah, if you can, you can, you can watch a film or something or a program that you really liked, and it has this specific music on it. You probably, if you'd never seen that, you might not even like the music. But you hear the music in the future, you just think back to the film, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it kind of. I mean, if if a film's got the right music, it definitely makes it a more like emotionally connected to it. Yeah. You know, yeah, I mean, I think, like think about Jaws without jarring. music. <laughs> we watched Wait. the we watched the Departed the other night, and it, it's a wicked, it's a good film. film. Yeah, mm. bad soundtrack. I really, really. <laughs> well, you got films hate. like all the Tarantino films. He does. A, he can pick a good sound. He can pick yeah. a good, make a good soundtrack, can't he? Oh, we, better, we better go on to what you're vaping. We're supposed to be talking yes. about that. Yes. Do you know what? I Normally, when I do my live show on a Monday, I normally just kind of have one or two vapes, but I thought I'm coming on your show. And I was like, I've got to get, I've got to get at least four. I've got to have at least four. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I was like, I've got to, I can't look like, you know, um, I've got to look like somewhat like an elitist, I suppose. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I've got the uh, the Miley. I don't know how to say it. The Miley, Miley pod. Yeah, um, okay. I'd, I'd done the review for it and I was like, I have no idea what how to say it. And um, so I've got that, which is nice. It's a nine percent, uh, nine milligram salt nick, and it, and it does it hits like a eighteen milligram. It, it kind of that sort of feel for me. It's nice. Um, I've got the this one's confusing. The Joy Joy Tech uh, Ego A I O Echo or E C O. It's got a lot of mm. letters. Well, they're still calling their 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 mods egos, then are they? <laughs> What's, yeah. that, what's on the top? Can you hold it up again? Vinny? Yeah, yeah, sure. There you go. Oh, okay. Right, sorry. Yeah. Just... It's it's got a little light in there. I don't. Think, I think my studio light's gonna black it out, but it's got a little light. What's the vape light? I quite like that. That's a nice little starter. It's, it's, is it a lung hit? It's it's not the most restrictive lung hit, and you can kind of try and pull it down straight to your lungs if you want. So it's not the most restrictive MTL, but you can try and pull it down to your lungs. But it, I mean, it's too restrictive to even class as a, a restrictive direct lung hit. But it's nice. It's nice. It performs well. I like the little top cap part. I you know, thought that's what they were focusing on the AI, that they should have made it more of a <coughs> mouth to lung. You know, if, I, if I cover up one of the air holes, so it's not just airflow, it, it becomes a more restrictive. It's, it's more enjoyable in all oh. fairness to it. Um, so I've got that. I've got the... This thing I'm actually quite excited about. I've got the Vapresso uh, Cascade tank, the new TPD compliant version. Okay. Um, 
sitting on the on on the switch. I, I thought I'd match it up with the <laughs> switch and my pipe vapor. It so. does. It looks like a transforms cock. <laughs> it does. It does. I What's put it on the home and it was quite nice looking. But yeah. What's cool. the USP on that tank then? What's special about that tank? Um. So the Cascade. I mean, the standard edition is seven mil. Um, and this is basically the TPD compliant. It, you know the Scion 2? It comes with that little plug-in. Mm. Um, literally, that's all they've done with this. It, the plug, I mean, it's a massive plug. It fills up this whole chamber up here, and it restricts it to 2 mil. So the second I'd done it, I'd stripped it down, took the plug out, and filled it up. And it's nice. It's a, it's a good little tank. Is I'm it enjoying it. Is it stock coils, then? Uh, it. Yes. Yeah, yeah there's right, stock right. coils in there. Uh, the one that comes with it that I've got in here is as stock. It's a 0.17. It's reading in that. I think it's a triple, no, quad coil. Yeah. That's one for Jeff. I'm sorry. Nice. Uh, but it's nice. It's nice. I mean, seven mil, seven mil's going to last you, last me a while. And then I have something else, but I've not heard of this company. I got the Free Max tank. It's oh, the yeah. mesh, mesh uh, tank. Yeah. And I've got to say, it looks cool. It looks funky and it, it, it performs all right as well, to be fair to it. So it's a mesh, mesh tank, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I, I stripped down, looked at the coil and everything, and it's literally just got the cotton and the mesh What's in the, the middle. Flavor like? Flavor's not too bad. Flavor's not too bad. That's why I, I, I use a juice in here that I normally would vape on in like, like an RDA. I mean, it's always going to be better in an RDA, but it's not bad, the flavor. It's not bad. I was pleasantly surprised. So I'm not a big lover of mesh as it is. No, I don't like um, mesh as a coil. And I, to be honest, I thought it was going to be very like fiery looking at it, but it's actually not bad to be fair to that. And I think that is it. That was four. That's two four. more than I normally use. <laughs> pass it on. Um, so okay. I'm going to pass it on to uh, last but not least. Oh, no, so, James, James hasn't gone yet either. Oh, was it? Okay, so 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 James, we'll go for you. Um, so now I just ask questions. So what did you have for dinner or supper or, and breakfast? What are you vaping? <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking? And I have no idea. Next one. If you could be a My Little Pony, which one would you be? <laughs> <laughs> I have well, no idea why that comes to my head. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. You are bringing something unique to this week's show. I love it. Thank you very, very much, uh, my little party indeed. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to think of a different question now. For <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, week has been good. I have had a, not a bad week. My house has not fallen down, and that is good. Uh, I have had a roof out to update from last week. I've had a roof out, and my roof is missing several important components that can be replaced, and we're all lucky to be alive. Um, so that's been my week. Uh, it's been all right. I'm not going to complain. Um, still here. Uh, I am vaping on uh, the Lugos, always, the Viper V2 with a whistle on top. I haven't got anything RYE in there today. I have got in there some Dem2, which I got from John this earlier in the week, and it is superb. I love oh, them too. It's a, mine. It's on the way. It's on the way. <laughs> it's a really nice tobacco review. I'd, I thought it was going to be odd with the mint. I, I did because I, I like it. I like this one. I like that one. I thought it was going to be odd with the mint. It's not odd with the mint. The mint is just mellow. It just works, doesn't it? Little at the end. It is. It, it, it's, <laughs> you, get, you, you don't get it. You, you don't get it all on the way in. I don't think. Sorry, on the way out. You get it, you get it all on the way in. It's a bit. Like, it's a little bit like if it, if I can remember smoking. I didn't smoke menthol cigarettes, but it's a little bit like smoking a menthol. I would say why. It it's worked definitely on that more level. of a mint flavour than. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's that menthol was all. I used to smoke. <laughs> I used to smoke consular when I had a cold. That is like that is a typical smoker's response. Yeah, I'm fucking dying. I know. I'm and some of these. I mean, the last time I was smoking a few years ago. There was some cigarettes that had a little button on the on the filter. Yeah, that you the little pods. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's not as strong as that. It's uh, it's 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 well seated, shall we say, uh, in the mix. Uh, you're on the way in. You don't get on the way out. It's custody. And it's tobacco in the in the nasal area on the way out. It is cracking, and I like it a lot. And I've got that mix. I mixed that myself from concentrate from uh, www.justadnick.co.uk and um, 
I mixed that at 60-40, 60 40, 60 PG, 40 VG, mm -hmm. because this week I have had rip tripper knuckles. I've, I've had, <laughs> I, I, I shoot you not, I have, I've, had, I've had dry knuckle thing. I've had that, that thing that, that I've that spoken about. <laughs> I, I, I think I need electro, I need electro, electrolytes. I've got, I, I haven't got electrolytes. What I've got is a grey forty-five, which is what you should have getting rip trippers. Crazy more. Um, so uh, so I thought maybe it's the VG because I've been vaping a lot of high VG things like well high for me. I normally fifty-fifty. I've been vaping up to like seventies and eighties this week, uh, this last couple of weeks. So I thought maybe it's the VG. I'll try something with uh, with less. Plus, I also I didn't know how the super duper awesome blue was gonna was gonna cope with a high VG because I've also got them two in in the blue, them two in the blue, John, John, pound, pound, John, pound, them two in the blue, um, <laughs> and you know what? It's all right for the pound. Uh, <laughs> if I'd have paid, if I'd have paid twenty quid for that, I wouldn't maybe it wouldn't have been quite so blazing. <laughs> it was a pound. Uh, so I put that in there. I put that in there. Uh, I am also vaping on the iron three five six. Again, we're vaping on the top. I've got. Uh, what have I got in there? I have got Russell's uh, Icy Cream Man Raspberry and Lime Twist. It's good. Yeah. I like it a lot. Never winner. Those juices are good. Yeah. So I'm getting on that. That's nice. That's nice. And in the uh, in the shadow, Fight Rex whistle on the top again. I've got custard cream just like last week uh, oh, from Spectrum. Spectrum. From Spectrum, which I'm still enjoying a lot. Uh, thank you very much, Paul. Uh, so that's what I'm vaping on. What did I have for all of the meals this week? Let's think. think let's just start on Monday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on Monday, no, uh, for I'll, I'll, I'll go. Through, I'll, bro, I'll give you me two main meals of today. I yeah, for me tea. I did a I did a, I did a, a roast dinner. I did a roast dinner with pork. With lots of roasty vegetables and that sort of thing. That's why I put that thing on because it was in my mind. What sort of pork did you do, James? Was it was <laughs> it a, a nice it was a shoulder. shoulder? It was a shoulder. It was a shoulder. Yeah, a I nice slow roast really, shoulder. I did, I did it low and slow. I put it on um, early early afternoon, and it was and then rested it for uh, about around about three quarters of an hour, maybe it was an hour uh, before I uh, before I served up and lots of roasties. It's been and freezing. Around. So much it wasn't. It wasn't. I kept it in the, in the top bit of the oven. Have you got? Have you got? A du I've got a double oven. Oh, I've got that one. I, I'm hoping to get one. It's like one of my life achievements. Is a double oven. Uh, no, it's, well, it's like a small one on the top and a, and, a, and a big one on the bottom. But obviously, when the big one's on, the small one gets kind of warm. It's nice That's for warming. Was, nice was, for warming your plates. Nice for. You know what we, you know we did when we did our kitchen? Instead of buying a really expensive double oven, we just bought two ovens. It's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> and if one breaks, you can just oik it out, a couple of hundred quid, stick a new one in. Rick, you are so delightfully practical. I adore I fucking it. love it. I like the fact this kitchen is like a pit stop on the Grand Prix. Pull the oven. Put that one in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they slot in, a couple of screws, plug in the back, job done. Done. Oven. I wouldn't know where to begin to change an oven, <laughs> I'll be honest. It'd be a YouTube job for me. It's just a plug around the back. Yeah, it's it just is. plugged in. It's just, sometimes it's hardwired, isn't it? But yeah. My, mine is hardwired. I'm not seeing who, who hardwired mine. Um, Prank trapping. But it's easy. It's rather easy. It's easy to do. It's, it's just like wiring a plug. Wiring in, a, in, a, in an electric oven is just like wiring a plug. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then for my lunch, I had a sandwich, but I didn't have. I didn't have my usual sandwich. <laughs> I had uh, egg. No. No, would you no, ever? No. Would you ever have an egg salad? Egg salad sandwich, Joe. Would you like no, one? I mean, no, not at all. You don't like egg. No, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I, I don't mind them in things. I don't mind them fried and scrambled and 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 that, but boiled eggs. That I don't. I don't understand I boiled eggs. Like salad de soir for tea. One of these. Not one of these. One night this week. Well, I quite enjoyed that. What about a fried egg sandwich? That that's not the same. That's not that's not what you're talking about. You're talking about a salad uh, as a salad item. So a cold <laughs> boiled egg. So a completely hard boiled egg. So completely hard, no dippiness. Obviously, you can't eat them dipping. You can't, like you put them for a fortnight. I like the fact we've broken James and just the thought of an egg makes it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, didn't have that. I didn't have that. I had uh, I had Cajun chicken coleslaw. 
and it was delightful. And I liked it a lot. What's Rich doing smoking? He's smoking a tub. He's got a toothbrush he's playing with. I don't know what he's up to with that. Um, <laughs> the chat subject of the night is the toothbrush. <laughs> yeah, it's been, I, I've, I've, I've noticed it myself several, several times. So that's what I had for me, me dinner. Uh, what, was it, what am I drinking now? I'm drinking on Rick and Morty backers. I love them. He's They're back. very nice. He's back. And, uh, and if I was a My Little Pony... I've got some help for you on this, James. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you can choose one of those, I reckon. Top, top ten My Little Ponies. Right down to Sweetie Belle. Oh, oh! I think I, I think I would be um, I would be Twilight Sparkle. I realise she's she's not in the top five, but Twilight Sparkle, I think probably would be. Uh, yeah, it's a good colour scheme on Twilight Sparkle. I like the look of Applejack. I was I was I was going to say Pinkie Pie. Yeah. I like that. Sweetie Belle. Well, that Sweetie Belle. Nah. A bit nah. More no, I'm definitely a oh, Twilight Sparkle. Princess Luna. That's not a My Little Pony look. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Wow, she's she's anime. She yeah, yeah. I don't want to be her though. I don't want to be her. Well, if I was invisible, I'd maybe just go around and perv on her. But uh, <laughs> I, don't want to, I don't want to be her. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of that. <laughs> Look at that. No, that's why I'll be Twilight. I'll be I'll be Twilight Sparkle, uh, and I'll expect uh, many Twilight Sparkle related memes in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on a delightful group full of delightful people who do not take the piss at all, at all, at all. Is uh, is Brad here? Uh, Brad's not here yet. Uh, so it's over to you then. Uh, am I finished? I'm done. I'm done. Richard, you got to finish on Richard. Rich, it's over to you, my friend. Uh, how's your week been? Uh, what are you vaping on? What are you drinking? What did you have? What did you have for your last meal? Your last, just the last thing that you ate. Doesn't have to be your breakfast. I thought he was on death row for a second. I thought, not, not the, it's not the death row question this again. Just, just, your last, just your last meal, the last thing that you ate. Not, and I don't mean a snack, but you can include snacks. If you've had a snack as well. The last substantial eat. Yeah, the last substantial eat. And uh, I've got several questions already pre-prepared. But we've had, them, we've had similar sort of ones. So I want to see it here. Not the, I can't believe I wrote down three questions tonight. And the, bit, and, the, and, and the questions that have already popped out have been so similar. It's like you're reading me a little naughty book. Um, <laughs> if you opened a restaurant or a chippy or, you know, some sort of food, because we're, we're on the food, aren't we? If you opened yeah. a restaurant or a chippy or some sort of food outlet, burger bar, what would you call it? <laughs> oh. Over to you, Rich. Vietman v one ck my good friend. Right. Okay. Um, this week, uh, a lot better than last week. Uh, I can, I can, I can drink and speak and sleep and yeah. So you managed to get rid of the AIDS last week, then. <laughs> pardon? You got rid of <laughs> pardon. You managed to get rid of the AIDS last week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was really holding me back that AIDS. No, the the people who were around to help you is that what you mean there, Rick? The people who were around to yeah, help because yeah, yeah. you were so poorly, so you brought the aids in. I understand that you, you've got to, sometimes when because it gets a bit much. Yeah, they they, uh, they get a bit they get to they overcrowd you, don't they? If they when, while they're looking after you. Yeah. Uh, no, no one helped. I, I had HIV. <laughs> <laughs> um. Back at that fucking James. <laughs> Um, we are only joking, folks. We're only joking. Personally. If you got AIDS, we're sorry. Feel sorry. For <laughs> and yeah, no, it was all. It was no, it was tonsillitis as it goes. I, that's we, going. We, that's going on a t-shirt. <laughs> if you've got AIDS, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, tonsillitis, not good. It wasn't good. Um, although I feel like Facebook exacerbated it. I mean, you're a bit run down from. Trouble on it, Facebook. Glo no glorified man flu, isn't it? But obviously, that's the only thing. Like, I don't know. It wasn't. I was just poorly. Like some people are sometimes. I don't know. It becomes a big deal. Um, on Facebook. Uh, so yeah, was that? But no, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. But I'm I'm bet on the men now. On the men, so that's all good. Yeah. Uh, for lunch, I had actually not. Uh, well, I've only eaten one thing today, and that thing was. So it's hard to classify if that was breakfast or lunch or dinner. Uh, 
spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs. Oh. Spaghetti and meatballs. That's it. It's all right. That was all right. Um, so what's the difference between a meatball and a faggot? <laughs> uh, <laughs> like a brains, a brains faggot. Yeah, no. <laughs> no exactly. They are the same thing. It's got to be size. It's got to be size. No, I, think it's something, I, think, I do think faggots are something very particular. I can't remember. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's weird you're saying that. Uh, is, it awful, is it awful? Whereas meatball is... Fully neat. I think I think, I, I, think I'll, I think I'll investigate further because it's weird you saying that, Rick. Because there seems to have been a lot, of, a lot of, of faggots in my life lately, Rick. I said every everywhere I look, I Amen. see I see faggots. It's, I don't know whether they're doing some sort of mega promotion, but they're just the the. I go to the supermarket, I see faggots. Yeah. <laughs> preach, preach, sister, preach. <laughs> I think Mr. Brains. I think he must, he must because they're like they're, they're, they're very prominent lately. I don't know whether, unless it's, it's it could just be me, but I, I don't think it is. I think there must be there must be some sort of drive at the minute. Yeah, there must have been something there to make me say about them. I mean, yeah, yeah I, just, uh, I can't remember seeing that advert for it, but I'm sure I have. They definitely. Uh, the, the, faggots, I think meatballs are mainly meat, uh, beef, aren't they? Pork. Yeah, they're faggots, maybe, faggots yeah, are, a beef pork, and pork yeah, mixture. Yeah, pork yeah, and, uh, and uh, they're pork pork Italian meatball, liver really. and um, fatty belly meat or bacon. So pork, mainly pork then. Mainly What's pork. Mince, okay, isn't it? There we meatballs, go. That's answered the question. I've never tried a faggot, but after it's saying it's like a fatty pork belly meat, it sounds. I might, I might give it a go. I think what I think we should all try it. Give it a try. Yeah, Vinny, Vinny, you go to jam. Yes, yes. We'll get to that. Go uh, outside and we'll just ask people. If yeah, we'll find we'll find you a faggot. We'll find you a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> we got to try. You got to try. You know everything once in life. You never know. You might like it. I think so. You never know. I think I think you get more than one in a box, Vinny. You get more than one in a box. You can try it a few times. You know. We'll all have one. We'll all have one. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll be a party. we have a nice picnic. Um, it won't be my first time. I'll bring my backpack. <laughs> Do you know, the first time I saw them in the supermarket, I, I had the double take because I'd never heard of it before. And I was like, what? I thought it was a, I thought it was a gag thing, like a, like a joke. I was like, it was, it was, in, uh, it was in Morrison's. Oh, oh, I couldn't believe it. No, I, mean, I was there taking long, pictures and everything. And they've been around for a long time before the term was turned into something else. You know, brains faggot yeah, yeah. when we were kids. Were... Yeah, and I think we've all gagged on a faggot at some point. We've all, we've all laughed It also at... means a bundle of sticks. I was about yeah. to say it means a bundle of sticks. people are confused. Bundle of sticks. Yeah. It does, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. could be confusing with some people that we were definitely talking about a meat product, but it can be confused with the bundle of a small yeah. bundle. Don't, of eat, sticks. don't eat a bundle of sticks. Have you have you yeah. ever gone back when you guys used to? Sm I don't know if I'm interrupting anyone. Sorry, but back when you guys used to smoke, did you ever go to America or anything like that and ask someone for a fag? Yeah, it's the worst because thing. honestly, they, they keep trying to give like you pork-based meat products, and you're like, no. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't want an English version of a, a meatball here. I want I want a fag. <laughs> um, and honestly, the guy looked at me so strange, and I was I was I was so confused. I was like, <laughs> have you got one? <laughs> Especially if you're after a pack of fags, <laughs> that is uh, yeah. very rare. Didn't help. I was drunk at the time. <laughs> um, right by that glory. And it was Mardi Gras. So yes, we get spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> um, is what I had for a meal today. Um, I take this, take this opportunity um, as we do because it is all about the guys in chat. You know, that's that. What's what we say? Where we say that? Um, we don't mean it, but we do say it. Uh, so I, I'm just going to take this opportunity to, uh, to just mention some people. Uh, Darren Appleby's upset that I haven't had rice. Pono's gutted about the Uncle Ben's thing. Also, um, Andrew has <laughs> taken the opportunity to announce Gay Pride. Good man. Um, what was you actually? You've got to talk about your restaurant as well. There were a few questions about that. John Lifey, uh, best thing at IKEA is the meatballs, apparently. A myth. Uh, Flitz is in. Only back John's when they were made of course, mate, though. Everyone's in. So hello to everyone in chat, and we'll be checking in with you later. Also, if you're watching this on. <coughs> Sorry. 
if you're watching this on catch up right now youtube has a new feature where you can view live chat on the catch up while you're watching the catch up show so fiddle around if you're watching this on catch up fiddle around and you should be able to yeah, find a way of getting the yeah there's yeah. a little drop down yeah, underneath the video you can actually see the live chat as it happened live uh, and i do recommend checking that out if you're uh, if you're watching this on replay check that out really cool feature and it stops us like wasting half of the screen and all that sort of stuff so it's all really good uh, so that is that so um yeah not really good week compared to last week um i had spaghetti meatballs Nice. Uh, if I um, if what you're vaping, if I was doing a restaurant, uh, I would um, I would call it Richard's Place, but oh, not but good. not but not sell fish. Oh, <laughs> very good. So we're talking about the the place with an eye. We had a couple of good ones in chat. There was Vic's Chicks and Dips, and there was uh -huh. Eating with Vic. I saw one that was. I think it was. I think it was called Scampi and Rice. Oh, yeah. The Vicar of Scampi. Yeah, it's not bad. Not I bad. wouldn't mind doing a Hooters, but with blokes. <laughs> 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 so we're just going like chapless. Called, um, what chaps. would you call it though? Chaps. You can call Ooh. it chaps. I'd call it balls. That's great. Hooters. <laughs> Scroters. Go, yeah, gonads. Just gonads. <laughs> Scroters. Scrubs. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I just think we're in this we're in this new age now. Of... And especially, Alex, you know, it's, it's you're, women. you're probably not women. that far off. You know, there would be women, lots of women that would go to that for novelty value. But but also, I just think I think men are also moving with the times and moving into this. You know, equal opportunities, you equal rights, gender them, equality. They sell themselves as sex symbols as well. Of course, as long as they had the boxing on and nice chicken wings. Yeah, I genuinely don't think blokes care who serves them the chicken wings as long as they get chicken wings. Yeah, you don't see there these vape shows. You never see men, mu muscular, ripped up, buff men wandering around with their shirts off, you do know you? What to do to say hi to Rick this time at Vape Jam. Yeah. It's a oil. Like, there is that guy that much. dresses as Thor. Did, Did you see him? He's uh, yeah, juice. There's, there's always a couple of blokes, but compared to the thousand women. Yeah. yeah. Let's go on equal rights. Not that I'm complaining, of course. But with no top on. <laughs> vaping on. Vaping on. The Emmy from Endless Mods. Oh, that's that one. You've got one of those. I've got one of these. And um, I'm going to talk about that a little bit more later. I like the look of that Atty, actually. I'll tell you what, the Atty um, is available separately and it's squawks. Oh, yay. Single coil as well. And not crazy airflow, as you can see. Quite restricted. Yeah. So that's okay. a thing. Um, also, the Lustro with the Creos V2 uh, that I, I like. I have I have reviewed. Check that out if you want to. In there, I have... Um, I haven't got this in the right order. Oh, no, I haven't. Well, <laughs> in there, what have I got in there? Sorry. Oh. I've got Dem2 in there, trying that out. Oh. Still getting scripts with it. Um, in here, I've got the Can Only Be One, loving that. And then I've got this. Uh, Bradley's not here, but I've got the, the Delrin Phobia. Nice. I love it. Absolutely love is that, it. Is that machine by Mr. Chris Scott McKenzie? I don't know. Is he? Does he do these for Brad? I think he, he might do. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, it's absolutely lovely, absolutely great. I really, really like it. I've got a little Druger on there. Uh, and in there, I've got uh, Killer Custard Lemon. Very nice. Like really so uh, they've done it. Yeah, I like it. They've done uh, three new Killer Custard spin offs. Like, oh, uh, you're a big, a huge Killer Custard. Fan. Yeah, Strawberry Lemon and another one. Uh, so they, they dropped me a few of those. Um, so that's nice. Um, yeah, really cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so that's that, but yeah, really loving the Delrin Phobia. I'll talk about the Emmy later. Creos V2 review is available on my channel. Check that out if you're interested in a new RTA. The news, and that's our hour. So, <laughs> the news, the news. Um, John, yeah. is okay. Can we start with you? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
<coughs> okay then, what you got? I have got a scroll function on my laptop. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, first one's first things first. Um, which is let me just fiddle around with my laptop and try and find the date. Um, what was I gonna say? So we're getting very close to well, not very close, but pretty close to vape jam now. The date of Vape Jam is what, Friday the 6th? I think so. Friday the 6th, Friday the 6th, Friday the 6th. That's bad, isn't it? I have to kind of do some Google. I'm pretty sure it's the... Because I thought it was the first Fifth, weekend. 6th, 7th, yeah. Pretty Friday. sure. <clears throat> oh, 6th, 7th, 8th, I think you mean. 7th, 8th. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we're there. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to do a little thing, really, because um, uh, a friend of mine posted on... Um, UK Skonkers the other day. Uh, I'll probably do it a little bit close to the time because I'm going to nick the idea. My friend Joe did it on uh, on there. We're going to steal that idea and do it on the Idea Lab Show, which is post a selfie of yourself if you're going to jam um, so that people know who you are. And I'm going to run through the same stuff I do every single time. If you're coming to jam uh, and you're worried about talking to the people that you've met on Facebook you've never met in real life, don't be at all um, and if you want to come up and say hi do that if you're on the fence about coming because you don't just don't you know you don't know what it's all going to be like the main thing is go in do a few laps see the things you want to see come outside to the pub we'll probably be there and 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 say hello and the other thing is if you're worried um but you're very friendly with someone else you know who's going message them ask them to meet you outside or buy a bar or something and then attack mm. as a as a, a, a with company attacking with company it's always easy and uh, they'll walk you over so anybody else got any more hints for like a um, or yeah actually bring plenty of cash because all the cash machines inside the event usually charge you and i'm a leg good, that's a good tip mm, i got good. burned by that a couple of times especially when i wanted a bottle of water and the bar wouldn't let me use my card unless it was over 10 pound they did say i could get five bottles of water though it's very good, which was uh, nice of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and never leave. Oh, go. Uh, no, we'll go through the. We'll go through the big ones. Like, don't leave your mods anywhere. Just come and say hi. It's not as yeah. bad as you think. Yeah, come, come and say, and say hi. hi. And in introduce yourself. Um, yeah. We often we've said it so many times, but it, it's true. We might not know who you are unless we've. Spent a lot of time talking to you on Facebook, and and your profile picture is you. And although, yeah, we get, get it with people. They get, people will come up and say hello and start chatting, and it's like and we're happy to oblige, but we need to ask who you are because it's we can't keep up with everybody. We can't know everybody from the group, can we? Yeah, if you're a regular contributor on the group, as soon as you say your name, though, we'll probably know exactly who you are. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. absolutely. But but, 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 but still, come and say Come say Say hello and be and ask for vinyls. Yeah, there's always we've always every single event we've done, we always seem to be end up sat and say with loads of people who are in the group and stuff. And it, it's really does is a big thing. I can see people in the chat right now who Matt English, who Baza, uh, oh, Baza. Uh, you know, and all these people keep popping up that we know personally because they came and said hello. I can see Shorty. Ian Shorty, he came and said hello. Yeah, these, Mick Blizzard. Yeah. Yeah, Mick Blizzard was at uh, the expo in the last year. Uh, it, we do remember. So uh, yeah. I can't say hello. Um, <clears throat> I just want to say hello to Pete, who's feeling a lot better. Yes. He, he got his box of goods today. Uh, and it was fantastic. And I said it on the page. Uh, and I'll say it again. P Pete. When you give a shit about other people, when you're not very well, you'll find those people give a shit about you. And that is that that's kind of the bedrock of the vacant community. If you just keep wanting freebies and you keep like begging and stuff, no one's gonna be looking out for you. But I tell you what, if you if you buy the odd raffle ticket and you're friendly when somebody's a bit down, when you're down, people have got you back. And uh, and uh, it's been great to see Pete. Uh, it was great. Pete's post earlier was lovely. I mean absolutely you know people think a lot of you pete so just get well soon mate 
Yes. Get get well soon. And I'm very glad that he just picked a new penis and uh, he showed me it today. It's very nice. Is it bigger? Very nice. Yeah, no, no, it's just the best shape. It's rounder. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. I was going to say, um, Plume Blue. Um, I've got a sale on this at the moment. Uh, they've got 50% off. Um, Lee at Plume Blue's got a sale on. On hardware, sorry, 50% off on hardware. If you want to go over, go over to um, uh, plumeblue.co.uk. That's plume and then the blu.co.uk. Go and have a look. Oh, just just like the blue, same spell as the blue. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> <Bye -bye>. John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next thing. Next things I, I, I just enjoyed. There's been so many Brad Pinto is here. Hello, Brad you gorgeous people. Hello, Hi, oh, yeah. oh, Brad. Uh, Sorry, I'm late. The camera's not working. All oh, right, my camera's not. It's got working. you pulling a funny face. Oh, is that the horrible face of me? Oh, you're eating and he's drunk and eating. He's eating yeah, in the picture, picture though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're on theme. Was this from the uh, from the uh, prenatal class? You look like you've got a baby's bib on there. We've we've been talking about nipples and boobs all all night. Oh, nice. nice. That's it. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks well, like. Isaiah, let's carry on with the news. Oh, yeah, yeah, you guys carry on. I'll sort out my camera in the background. Okay, I, I can do that. Um, I was just going to read an article from Business Insider, and what they've done is they found a really old piece of evidence, and they've headlined it this. It is quite nice. Scientists, they are scientists, have found even stronger evidence that vaping is exposing teens to toxic chemicals. This is an article from March the 6th, so just two days ago. It goes on to explain what is in vaping pens and all the terrible dangers inside. My favourite bit, I've got to list the metals. Um, oh, here we go. Rule authored a paper last month which showed the vapour from e-cigarettes included toxic substances. <laughs> well, hey. Now... Now listen to how many ingredients are the ingredients to solder, which which I would say that they were that they put through the machine, not not vaping. That was uh, a, this is that this is the chemical breakdown of a dry hit. Rule authored a paper published last month which showed that vapor from e-cigarettes included toxic substances like lead, nickel, chromium, and manganese often in concentrations that either approached, met, or exceeded the levels defined as safe by the Environmental Protection Agency. I want to go back to this because there's been a lot of positive articles about vaping recently, and uh, when I do searches to, do the, uh, to, to write my bits on the show, if I forget to change the, to only include the UK, all the US articles are the same garbage that we've been seeing for the last four years. And all the UK articles are now so much more balanced. It's really, really weird. Um, uh, da, da, da. There's a really... Uh, I can't show you that. I'm just trying to find a bottle of e-liquid. I'll find one. There's a bottle of e-liquid here. There's a bottle of e-liquid here. Um, so I've got the chemical breakdown of this e-liquid at, at work. The reason I've got the chemical breakdown for this e-liquid is because it, because it left the US, it comes with a chemical sheet exactly what's in here the ingredients to this e-liquid um if i mix orange juice and apple juice together i don't have to check if there's a ford sierra in it legally because uh, if you add orange and, and um apple you don't get a ford sierra and if there was no metal heavy metals in the ingredients for this e-liquid it is ludicrous that you should have to test for heavy metals. It's total bullshit. It's obviously that that the the data that they've collected there is obviously from a dry hit, but they've congratulated themselves for it and printed the results. Which they found, they, yeah, they've had a dry hit probably on. We've had a half an hour dry hit, and they've left it pulling the machine, and then they've run the um, gas chromatogram chromatogram on it, and that's what you've got. This is total bullshit. Probably from nickel or something. Yeah, solder uh, off a 
off the um, off a cigar. Like it's, it's just total bullshit. Uh, but I thought we were past that. We're not past that. We're seem um, to be past that here, though, don't we? Which is good. Yeah, we do. I will say if the, it's not, the if it's not real world testing, then we'd win our interest, are we? <laughs> nah, so it's total shit. Don't bother with it. Um, mm, ah, the fuck. I fucked up all my screen, but I've pull out of here. So, um, I have an article here from the UK from the A Register, and the headline is "The vape- Vaping on the NHS." Don't hold your breath. Uh, oh, this is a really good thing. This actually was on the 28th. So this is actually last week. So I will say this is sort of not news. It's the olds. But it's, um, I'm still with it. I still quite like it. Opening paragraph is this. Experts told Parliament that a post-Brexit Britain should think about axing the most draconian of EU-wide e-cigarette regulations to encourage people to quit smoking. The Science and Technology Select Committee heard all evidence today Yesterday, sorry, the, the Tobacco Products Directive, the TPD, ban on promoting e-cigarettes and its restrictions on liquid strength and product capacity all put the public at risk. Weak e-liquids meant fewer switches were likely to stick with e-cigs and led vapors to consuming more liquid, neither of which was desirable. Oh my fuck, how long have we been saying this shit? Um... The background, uh, the background to the inqu- inquiry was twofold: the looming opportunity to remove the daftest elephants, elephants, no elephants, elements of the TPD, and the arrival of a heat not burn HNB products. Currently, e-cigarette products vaporize a liquid containing nicotine. HNB products allow tobacco uh, to be heated and inhaled with far fewer toxic chemicals than a conventional cigarette. Why has everybody muted themselves? I just listen to you, John. Uh, I just copied everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, but I thought that was a really interesting article. Heat, no burn, go and fuck yourselves. You are selling cancer, you fucking assholes. But the rest of it, I thought it was really good. Uh, it's something we've been saying yeah, for a they, long time. Didn't they realise that there's lots of, lots of carcinogens or still on heat and tobacco? Of basically. course there is. It's absolutely fucking stupid. See, I got contacted by a company from uh, Heat Not Burn, and it took a couple of exchanging messages before they actually told me what they were going to send me in for review. And when they said it, I was like, oh, I'm sorry, um, I, I don't review that. I review vaping products. I said, that's more of a tobacco product. And I didn't hear anything back from them since. And I, and I was like, why would I review that? Have you not seen the channel? Well, obviously you have, but why well they're trying they're at, they've been targeting vape shops for ages haven't they i mean they walked into Riyads and tried to sell him um what well, i don't know i don't know what brand it was but it was a cigarette basically um yeah tobacco products they're trying to they're trying to muscle in on vaping do you know what it is i anything that's healthier than smoking i can agree with but not when it's trying to go into vaping because that's, that's my that's my that, that's I haven't not got a problem with yeah. it. Do what the fuck you like. Stop covering. There's there's three problem. There's three issues that keep rearing their heads and trying to trying to cover under vaping. Um, <clears throat> one of them being heat not heat not burn. Um, the other one being snuzz, and well, one of the others being snuzz, and the other one being weed. They're separate issues. You fight yours. We'll do ours. Seriously, fuck off. It's it don't it just it just dirties the water. No, really. Yeah, we never we never believe that vaping is a to, is a tobacco product, and no. we don't want anything to do with tobacco. I hate that. I hate that when people put that into the same category because YouTube um, have messaged me and said that oh your channel's uh, tobacco, tobacco products, and I and I, I wrote out a massive message to them. I said it's not tobacco. I said you know the nicotine could be derived from anything there's there's nicotine in tomatoes and things like that and they didn't message me back and i was like but it's not a tobacco product and that I mean, is great synthetic nicotine now as well aren't they that's not yeah, even out. yeah obviously because rick's got a brand page for um <clears throat> model maker and i have a brand page for just our big and <laughs> that that happens uh, facebook rears its ugly head like it, it's it's a fucking there's certain things which are absolutely stupid where it says for only a quid you can promote this to a hundred thousand people let me click that button and i'll see what happens you can't promote it it's tobacco oh brilliant thank you (laughs) 
basically. <laughs> you have to be. I couldn't use the word. You can't use the word vapes in any adverts on Facebook. I found that out when I was doing Facebook ads for Fat Daddy Vapes. Yeah, and nowhere did it mention va anything else except the name of the product was a Fat Daddy Vapes product, and they wouldn't have it. See, and they see, allow it. Name's name's got vaping in the title, and I, I can't. You anything I do, uh, I, I could promote an avocado, but it wouldn't go through because of my name. Yeah, I, I don't know why I picked an avocado. <laughs> it's good. I like, it. <laughs> I like, I like an avocado. I, 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 I quite like an avocado crushed with eggs on a piece of dry bread <laughs> or something. I go, from food. Of, uh, I go for a bit of guac every now and again, but yeah, you know, <laughs> why my mind went straight to that, I don't know. <laughs> uh, do, do, do. Oh, Richard. Hello. News. Okay, I'm going to do mine really quick because we've got a long way to go. Okay, uh, Rick, can you pull up the EH Pro pictures? Okay, so um, we do these quite a lot. We share these quite a lot. Uh, Battery Mooch has recently done some tests for some EH Pro batteries, and uh, they're, they're vastly overrated. Now, in and of itself, not a particularly interesting thing. You know, lots of batteries are. Interestingly, though, not only are these violently overrated, if you scroll, if you flick the next picture, Rick, EH Pro have said they're actually nothing to do with them at all. Someone is, or they've just picked a vaping brand, a vaping manufacturing oh, right. name, okay. and, oh, wow. and they're, they're, they're attempting to put out these batteries as EH Pro. So I was going to say EH Pro aren't that bad a picture of a space. Yeah, they, they, this this is certainly not. I, I've got a couple of friends that work for EH Pro, and this is just not their in their appetite at all to do anything. They've like got this. some weird stuff going on with these different batteries, haven't they? They've got a, the first one we looked at was a three thousand mAh forty amp battery. It said. Mm -hmm. Then you get to this one, which is two thousand two hundred mAh. Oh, it's got forty amp. Okay, sorry. yeah, but why would you do a two thousand two hundred forty amp if you've got a three thousand forty amp? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's why, why would you do a 2000 is. if you've got a 35 amp? Yeah, it's well, I want I want the one with less battery life and lower amp. It's just, yeah, so, <laughs> EH Pro have said, look, these are nothing to do with us. We're trying everything we can to get rid of them. That's so that's scary. Just that is that. absolutely. Just yeah, and that's what someone has done. And so, yeah, so avoid these batteries. But also, they're not actually anything to do with EH Pro. It's quite scary. Yeah. So that's a thing. Uh, but obviously, as always, great work by Mooch and uh, check out his YouTube channel. It's great that he that he put this up and and it was brought to their attention. So yeah, that, which is Mooch at his best, really. Because they're not a bad company, EH Pro, are they? The real yeah. EH Pro. Oh, no, on the whole, no, not at all. They 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 try their best. They in fact they've got a new tank coming out, which looks very nice. Uh, the the Bachelor X. Yeah, I think oh. I, we had a. So, yeah. I think I had a couple of things from them. Yeah, yeah. They, they did bring out the bachelor. It was quite a good uh, little um, thing. They and and they still have a really cool regulator tube, which seemed to slide under the radar. I've got it. I've got one. Didn't you yeah. send it to me? Oh, they sent it to me. They sent it to you, didn't they? But yeah. it, was, I mean, it does everything a Preveri does, but like for thirty quid. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a nice little, well, big thing. It's quite long. But... Yeah, but Bachelor X sounds like a good restaurant name for you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> actually, that is a thing as well. Yeah, Chuck, if you a restaurant that had the whole dating angle, that that'd work as well. There's a lot of options in that whole game. Um, uh, we said we would continue to drip feed you information about the ideal home show vape meat. The plan is to do an ideal home show vape meat. Um, we now have the date to put in your calendar. Please, please put this. To me. I haven't even been informed of such. Hey, that's <laughs> now. Sorry, we we'll blame, we'll blame the technical put, gremlins. Put this, uh, put this, uh, put this in your calendar, Brad. Uh, the ninth. I'm, I'm of... opening my calendar now. <laughs> the 9th of February, twenty nineteen. I didn't know anything about that date either. That's, it's been widely discussed. Oh, um, I just thought we'd uh, cut sticker sticker. No, I just go. Oh, yeah. right. The 9th of February, twenty nineteen, will be the ideal home show meet. Um, so please pop that in your calendar, um, yeah, and we will gonna consist of. We're going to find a venue that's got a hotel and a few bars near it. Absolutely, and it's going to be about meeting the social side. That's what we go to Jam and Expo for, to be honest. Isn't yeah, it? Um, that's that's always been the best part of of, 
all of these like me. It's going to be the main aspect of it. However, if there are any any shop owners, vendors, manufacturers watching, they are interested in being involved in that. Do feel free to uh, drop me a line. Where, where um, do I submit my application? <laughs> Brad, you're in. You're in, Brad. You're it's, in. It's, it's bent as fuck. You're in, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring a lot of squat bottles up and flog them. Yeah, I'm still yeah. just a nickel. A mini mod maker stand, a mini Jan stand, and a mini phobic phobia. Stand. What more do you need? That's all you need. I know. Yeah, that's all. It's, but it's going to be great. It's going to be a really cool hangout on the 9th of February 2019. More details to follow. Yes. So, the Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame. Some more pictures for you here, Rick. Um, we did another Hall of Fame round of voting this week. Um, regulated mods. Um, there was, apart from the Vamo and the Preveri and the MPV, there was a, a drastic lack of regulated devices in the Hall of Fame. So it was another round of uh, voting for that. Uh, this was the poll. Um, as I explain in, in the text there on that, um, there were absolutely loads and loads of votes. I'm for... so happy with the win. <laughs> How absolutely... did the billet box get up there? Yeah. How did Is it? This hall of well, we'll, talk, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. But um, I voted for the Hexome. <laughs> I voted for the Hexome. Yeah, Hexome's great. I love it. Um, iconic. But the, um, the, the, the one thing to note on the actual poll... The Segeli 100 watt and the Segeli 150 got a load of nominations, but it's the same. It's a very similar thing. The 100 watt came first. They upgraded to the 150. So I, I lumped those together, and in the actual results, they, they didn't actually do that well. So I don't know what happened there. Um, but yeah, so the Segeli, the Segeli was iconic in the fact that it was the first widely available, very durable high wattage box yeah, it was probably the first one wasn't it really of the high powered dual battery boxes back when, they, when they did that 100 watt everyone just went wow yeah, yeah. i remember getting i gave my i gave mine away to uh i can't remember i'm a, a young man from brighton who's still a member of the group now so so that came fifth the hexome came last um i don't know if people really think of it as in the same lines as paper shark right and flask and all that, but uh, but the hexo is for me is really iconic. Anyway, I've always thought they were great. Mm. Yeah, I love my V3. I've still got it sitting here. To be honest, I might put the Cascade tank on the V3. Yeah, matchy because it's blue. It's blue. It's matchy, matchy. I think they were probably at their best when they had the old OKL boards in them, the original yeah. ones. It's that. Um, it's that raw power. It's that straight. Mm power that you get from a hexome that at the time you didn't get anywhere else you know come on we've got to start talking about the winner anyway Jesus. uh so sorry yeah. carry on. i'll carry on, I mean, carry on. The, the, the only two i've owned from that entire list is the hexome and the bullet box yeah but they are they are two really iconic mods uh, the yeah. bullet box is an i i mean is absolutely we're not there iconic. yet we're not we're not there oh yet. okay okay the rx 200 <laughs> came forth that when they, absolutely... that rx 200 should yeah, it deserves. I think half of these deserve a place in it. To be it honest, does, Rx, I mean, it, it changed the. They, way made, they it mainstreamed the that shape. shape, didn't they? They mainstreamed yeah, yeah, that shape. Still yeah, they got a they powerful, a powerful three battery mod, and it was cheap as well. I mean, they had the DNA yeah. one, and then they had their own proprietary board for no money, didn't and, they? And just like the Segeli one hundred and fifty and one hundred, it it just worked. You know, yeah. it was it didn't have any glaring issues. It was a straight power. It just worked, you know. It was no fundamental flaws, and so that was uh, that was a very noteworthy nominee. Um, the Minikin V two uh, was third. That got a lot of nominations, a lot of votes. Um, I guess, I guess it's just a very good mod, really, because it didn't change anything, did it? I mean, it was touchscreen before touchscreen was fashionable. But I always found the touchscreen a bit is not always a hundred percent with yeah, that. Yeah, not super responsive. But it didn't. It didn't change the game in any way. But it was a very, very good regulated mod, mm. I guess. And then no, that's the... why I don't think the. I think the winners should be Hexone RX two hundred and probably Philip Box. They oh, change. They oh, change. Oh, and Sigilli, those four ch change something. The Vapor Shark came second. I don't think there's anyone that's been vaping a long time that isn't very very aware of the vapor shark I mean, I really, that was the most undeserving on the list i'm saying it really is really yeah totally. it, it was a piece of shit 
<laughs> I don't I don't know anyone that had a DNA mod in that era that didn't have a I, I had a, I, I had a, I had a vape shop. It was you, like, you had a vape shop for a long time, John. Was, yeah, yeah. But, but it was like was just was, it. Mine was totally fucked. Yeah, but they got a nice rubbery finish on those. No, it fell yeah, off for like eleven seconds. One. Yeah, but the other thing was with the with the vapor shirt. The reason mine like beaten to shit and still working was quite a thing was because they they all fucking broke. Like, you don't think maybe broke. items like the vapor shock actually get the vote because of nostalgia rather than quality? Yeah, I think that's a good shout. Yeah, well, I mean, somebody, Dan Williams in chat has just put saw so many vapor sharks with issues. There were there was so many. It, mm. There's a video which is brilliant. Somebody made uh, about the vapor shark too. Oh, the Hitler spoof. Uh, no, it was the one with the the Mexican talk show. If you if you flick to the next picture, Rick, we've got the three the top three <laughs> on the next pick. So here we go. So these are the three: the Minikin V two. Uh, the Vapor Shark, that's the 200 watt version of the Vapor Shark. They've always stuck quite firmly to I quite like that, their right? design. I do quite like the Vapor Shark design. But look at the billet box, man. That's such a good looking device. It do, really do you really know what, good. though? For so, right, let's get on to the billet box. That for so long, its looks have carried it so far. Because, let's be honest, until the Rev 4, it was quite a janky piece of shit. <laughs> I totally agree. I never would have touched one. Well, what was it? Agree. Two two double A batteries. Yeah. <laughs> it was gorgeous, <laughs> and, it was, and it had a massive problem with it. I've just never tried one. Never had any interest to try and, one. And I tell you what, the, the modders were modding the three point one for a year before they even thought of the Rev Four. Yeah, Absolutely. It took them a year yeah. to put a DNA board in it and a proper coil. Mm. Uh, that don't go as wrong. The 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 actual the power output on I, I never liked it. I never I never liked it. I never trusted it. I, I liked the display. I, it's it is a regulated mod, it totally is a regulated mod, but the looks and the functionality of it are not necessarily connected. Um it's just it, it's it's almost an it's an iconic piece. You, you if anything was gonna win and anything deserves to win, it is undoubtedly that the Rev four was what it always should have been. I don't know why the the three and the three point one lasted anywhere near as long as it did. It should have been. It should have been a DNA twenty, a DNA thirty, then a DNA forty. It should have. It, that should have happened but, straight away. Yeah, totally agree. It, but it is beautiful. The Rev Four is brilliant, yeah, and I'm and it is, take, it is iconic in design. I think it is. I mean, I'll have to take notes from people who know who've had it, like John. He loves it. He knows what he's talking about. It must be good. But it's not something I've ever been interested in having a go on. To be right. Honest. So the, the the billet box is going in. It won the poll. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's going in. Yeah, it has to. Yeah. I think are, that... are we going to sneak another one in? I think you should put the hexome in. Even though it came last in the poll, we'll get lynched. <laughs> it gets my vote. I think it should go in. Definitely the hexome. It's, it's well worthy. I, 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 mean, I, I, I would it. say I'm the original. Good. I wouldn't say the newer hexome. So I would say the original hexome. I mean, it, it's literally it's literally sat here like three inches from the screen, and that's not because I'm vaping it tonight. It's never it's never beyond my hand, you know. I love so, yeah, it. I've always got mine as well. Always got mine. I stopped using mine actually because the signature on the inside started to rub off. Because <laughs> uh, I got I got Grim to sign it, and he put a little love heart there as well. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that afterwards myself. That's actually from him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got it on one of my vlogs. <laughs> yeah. I've actually got it on the vlog. So are we? Are we going to? Oh, should we ask chat if that's okay? Go for it. So in chat, we need to know if it's okay because we all love the hex home. Is it okay if we stick that in as well? But but which one though? Which well, one? we we start generalizing. Yeah, uh, we just, just say hex home. I mean, I still think the original ones are probably the better ones with the OKL the, board. The one that I raised on the Facebook group um, is um, the flask. I was I was I was shocked the flask didn't get a mention. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Again, so iconic. Yeah, but I think pretty much you know I think all of those deserve to go in it all it, all bar the minikin. I don't see what the minikin's even doing there. To be honest, just a good mark. the minikin was very very popular though. I mean. 
I never owned one, to be honest. I never really liked the touchscreen functionality of it. It frustrated me too much. Uh, but a lot of people have the Minikin V2. Mm. And it still retained its value. Like, if you go and buy one... I don't think they did one, anything, though. I don't think they did anything new. Yeah. Okay, chat. Chat is coming in now. So, uh, Schwarzy says, stick it in. Um, uh, Grateful Ant is saying, throw it in. Uh, Scott is saying, yes. Hex home in. Uh, Dan saying, yes. Should you be saying yeah, yeah, whatever? Um, uh, Darren saying go on then. Uh, what were we, what were we discussing? Because I missed it. Dude. Whether we whether we're allowed to put the hexome in or not. What, what's so? I've never owned a hexome. What's so great about the hexome? What, what? Why? Why should? It, why does it deserve to be in there? It's the, my favorite thing about the hexome is I could throw it <laughs> at someone and pick it up and still use it. We could. Sit you can see that about an SVB. But it's yeah, not just that. It's it, 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 not in the regulated it, 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 I will say, I've never had a hexane, but it it, it, it was... Uh, <laughs> there was a there was a moment of like inspiration with the, the, the sort of two mods, which kind of one of them gets ignored a bit, but the, the hexane and the Duke, which were mm. before anybody had done this. I don't actually know which one was first. Duke, the, the Duke was the first. Duke, and, Duke and Duke all the modders. We, well, this is what the hexome is compared to those yeah. other mods. Is a hexome is a a modder's a modder made mod. Yeah. Use an OKL board which isn't made for for. If you were going to put if you're going to put one in, if you're going to put the billet box on the consumer's choice, then put the other one in on the host choice. Then I'm gonna I'm happy to go with hexome because it started <laughs> off this sort of that that um that way of doing things you know well you, you know, had a mod the same as the hexome john what you have i've had, had two one. i've had oh, two I, I totally no. agree i'm not i wasn't i wasn't i just have not owned a hexome but no i haven't either no. but it, i know what it is i know exactly what it does so i've got two but what did it do when well, it kicked off this uh, something you know it was, the first, it was the first mass boss well, mass produced from a small model um have you got to we put talk, the talk, have you got to put the Duke in no, instead of that? Had a potentiometer on it. No, because we can't. Spot. We can't put it on. It's not on the noms list. Oh, it's not on the list. Okay. But All right. also, but also, people have mentioned the RX two hundred, like, and you know what a change of that was and stuff. But for people like cloudy people like me from four years ago, there was no RX two hundred. If you wanted pure high wattage. That was the route you went clean down. power delivery as well. It's the, and we and Craig have talked about this a lot. You can tell the difference between all these other boards that use a pulse width mm. modulation and an OKL, which OKL Raptor, which Beautiful. is smooth delivery, and you can you can feel it when you're vaping with it. You just can. I'm yeah. gonna have to get my one out and use it again. I think. Right. So that's that then. Okay. So, yeah. Well, so the well, it's box and the Exome, I've joined yeah, not, the Hall of Fame. I just like the clicky button. Yeah. Weirdly, though, but iconically, it did kind of bring that button into the fore, didn't it? The P9 Otto, Otto P9. I think, I think Hexome. I mean, because I, I used to love Hexome, I really did, and I actually got a message on my on my page. Um, what would I recommend? An SX Mini G Class or a Hexome as like an elitist status mod? And I, I said, <laughs> well, you know, I, I don't really believe in that sort of elitist status things. You know, there's 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 a purge squonker that's about four or five hundred pounds, and I think that kind of blows those two out of the water anyway for cost. That's um, and not I, being upset. And, 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 and well, if you go, if you look at the uh, the three D printed um, squonk boxes at Expo last last time round, they were quite expensive. Um, but I lost some train of thought. But yeah, no, I I said Hexone because I, I use one and I like it. And I don't know, there's something about it, but I think Hexome's actually lost a lot of... Because if you're a Hexome lover, you are a massive fan. I, I've been in Hexome groups when someone has like 20 of them, yeah. but those groups have gone really quiet just recently. I think it's kind of died down the hype with it. Yeah, it's it's, it's going to go out It's going to go out of fashion, isn't it's it? It's dying down with Campful, isn't it? I mean, Campful's dying out a bit, and that's what exactly what... Don't you tell James that. He's just with sleep. That's what you should be using on, on a mod like the Hexone because you can't build really low. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got a 20 amp limit on the board. Yeah. Mm. See, I like Campfall still. I know, I know it's... It depends you know, on what mod you're using. <laughs> yeah, but it's the first thing I started building with, so I, I grew to love to, to, to love it. I understood Campfall a lot. Um, and, yeah, and then I kind of compared that to everything else 
afterwards. It, it, it all depends what mod you're using. I mean, I use Campful and I use and I use an I eighty and mm -hmm. I use Stainless as well. I use them all. It all depends what what mod you use. And a Hexone wouldn't be much good with an I eighty. Yeah. If, yeah. If, if, or if you're going to build low, if you're going to build low, you build blow the door off. <laughs> yeah, you want to be building about one ohm with a Hexone, really. Yeah, you know, yeah. So, so yeah, so they're then then two are going in. Perfect, happy yeah. days. I'm really, sure. really pleased. Hey, cool, cool, cool. Um, a very quickly to say, uh, we we did trail this on release night. The Emmy from Endless mods. I now have one. Nice. Um, really, really pleased to get my hands on it. I am going to do a full review on my channel. Um, we we got one thing wrong on our guesstimation from the original pictures because we sort of suggested it looked a bit like the Vulcan Bros RDA. Um, but actually, I don't know if you can, how well you can see this, but it's a single coil. Ooh. The posts are, are, are staggered back, and it's a single coil job. And also, it, they go into a groove. It's it's actually completely different to the Vulcan uh, mech. Uh, the Vulcan Alpha was the RDA called the Alpha? Yeah, I think so. Um, so it's actually very different. And the other thing we sort of kind of missed was the airflow is really, really small little holes here and fixed as well, not changeable. So there's two holes on the back. The airflow goes... They look about the same sort of airflow as a Hadley. Yeah, they, yeah, they are about that. So that the airflow on the back goes through the, those post holes. It's like semi-indirect. And the other one goes on there. 18650, very, very small. Very, very small. That's not, what's the diameter on the 20, model? 22. 22. Yeah, 22. Yeah. Nice. Um, the entire bottom is kind of uh, a button. It's got that uh, RX Machina style lifting the battery to make contact. Yeah, got, got that going on. This is the um, stainless. This is the silver plated version. Is it silver? Do you know what the material is under this? Under there is it copper? Copper. Uh, oh, I was going to say chrome. Well, no, chrome's at plating, isn't it? Yeah, it's either right. because there's a chrome, there's a chrome version, a brass version, a silver plated one, and a rainbowy one. Sure, Paul or Tom would tell us. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get all those details when, when I get there. Um, but yeah, very thing. The the one instant negative I showed you guys earlier on. Um, the the one instant negative I've got a level at this is it's a bit fiddly to change the battery. Um. When you take this top cap off, is a nail top cap, which is very good. It's a hybrid connection, but when you take that off, a lot of components of the mod have to come apart to change the battery. And that is the one, the one negative so far that I've come up against. But I am actually very much enjoying it as a mech, and it's it's nice to see an eighteen six fifty tube mech come out that's not all about clouds. Yeah. I gotta agree. I like the look of that. Very much a very much a sort of you know all in one mech setup that's very just flavor driven. Yeah, I like the look of that. Really nice. like that sort of vape. So I will do a full review on that, um, and I'll mention it again next week with sort of a follow up. But I've only had it a couple of days, so uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's very different, really different, and and it's it's a it's a positive. It's a positive that I'd, something's come out and it's different. I wasn't expecting it to be. So against the grain, you know. So interesting. Plated brass. Someone's saying in chat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, someone, then, someone says it has to be copper. Oh, oh, maybe we don't know what it is. So it's even we brass or copper know. underneath. It's made of yeah. metal. Uh, That's what we do know, people. Um, but yeah, a nice, cool thing. And also, a final point: the RDA is going to be available separately, and it squonks. And I oh, think, I think it. It really is really going to lend itself to squonking. I know Riyadh is using it on his Scott Bonner. Are they available squonking. now, then, are, Richard? Do you know? Yes, I believe so. I might well, get my what field do you have in it, Richard? I've got uh, 0.3 Clapton in. So on a on a single 18650, it does a bit. It does a bit, but obviously it's single coil, so not quite as larry as... As uh, you know, your, typi your typical clouds, bro, tube mech setup. Have we got an RRP? The the entire the entire kit is really affordable, like 60, 70 quid. And the and the RDA doing it? The RDA on its own would be about 20, 25. Cool. Oh, yeah. 
And it yeah, looks I, I, I genuinely think it will squonk really well um, due to the, the positioning of the coil, the way that the... Because when you get it like a kit like this, it comes with a squonk pin. So I think it's going to... It might but, um, it might turn heads as a squonking RDA, that, actually. Um, so, yeah, very, very trendy, very cool. Um, James... Any, any news for us? I do. I've also got a question about that. Um, it, the silver plate mm. is not going to match anything as a as a standalone RDA. Is it? Are we going to get uh, SS version to that? Yeah. So yeah. there's there is um, there is a Chrome version which looks. Uh, very uh, what about the standalone the standalone Addy though, Rich? The oh the Atty the Atty is available in the same colours. So there's a chrome Atty, Atty, there's a brass Atty, uh, a rainbowy one, I think, and the state and the silver. But, I, but if it's if it's anything like anything else Endless has ever done, eventually there'll be a full range of colours and cool. materials. Cool. Cool. Any shiny silver will sit nicely on a black mod, won't it? Yeah, really nice. I mean, as long as you've got no stainless yet. The entire no, there, there doesn't seem to be a stainless one currently, but no, in endless, there, there will be. Um, the entire I should say, the entire top cap and drip tip is all one piece. And, and what's it called again, just for chat? The Emmy E double M I E double M I Trevor. Uh, so really cool. So I, 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 um, I'm it, because it's it's taken me back, uh, it's, it's surprised me in its entire style and purpose and everything it's yeah it's going to take me a few days to get made around i think but um yeah, yeah it's pretty it's random different. Really. yeah it's different it's just not it's not just clouds bro mech you know I, I, did, I genuinely thought it might be so but yeah very interesting and i'm really intrigued to try this rda on that squonk um hello. so all good james the news hello uh yes i've got uh, i've got a few little bits and pieces i've got a, a couple of things that we're revisiting and a, a couple of things that were uh, that are brand spanking uh i've got some picks rick Rick's uh, first, first thing i'm looking at is the is the cobra got yeah. some actual i've got it lovely pictures of the uh of the what almost the final version of the cobra here from Elfire from Elfire from hellfire Elfire. Good quality as always. Look at that; looks really nice. Little bit. So this really is good. this is their new uh, their new Squonk Bomber Pro um, Squonk. Looks teeny tiny. I, I mentioned it a couple of weeks ago, and we had kind of like tiny proto um, proto picks, and we've got a couple of, of kind of real world. Looks like this is going to be the finished version. A little bit different from Hellfire's usual thing. Obviously, it's still got the the, the regular Hellfire brand on there, but this. This finish with the lines is a little bit different for Hellfire. It's uh, obviously they've normally got a much tighter mesh of lines and this kind of like continuous, like what's on the shadow and is uh, is, is on the venom and stuff. And this is a little bit different. It's, it's yeah, I like the look of that. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be teeny tiny. It's 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 a bomber pro remember, and it's eighteen six fifty, and it looks tidy. Looks really is really. It, are they can, do you think it's gonna be one of those ones where they release it at uh, vape fest or something like that i i think it's almost ready to go to be honest oh, with you, rick i think i think this is going to be well before I, I wouldn't be surprised if they've got more the sit darren seems to be just churning out the gear lately he's he's, he's yeah, man, got so so, it's brilliant to see a british um mod maker just doing exactly that i really yeah. you know we really always enjoy it it. Like young bradley it. there they're traveling their own path, doing their own thing, aren't they? That's what I like. They're doing there are their own very path. few mods out there that I would sell my unborn child for. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as a special guest, we've got say, um, Bradley's girlfriend. Okay, come in now. <laughs> no, done. I'll, I'll get hung out to dry. <laughs> so I mean, I mean, I mentioned all the, the 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 specs on this, the size and stuff. It's do you remember this is tiny? This is absolutely teeny tiny. This is about the same size as um, um, as a three D printed mod. It'd as, be the same size as three D printed, but with radiuses on each end, so feeling even smaller. Basically, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, that's 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 uh, it's still not released. That's. Still approximations of how it's going to look at the end of the day. They'll sell as many as they make, basically. Absolutely. Oh, and, and yeah, 
absolutely. It, it's it's highly anticipated on the uh, on the Hell by Groves. Have, have, you, got, have you got an estimated RRP yet, James? I, I have not. I have not. I think we're probably looking around the two fifty three hundred pound mark. To be honest with you, okie dokie. I was just that was that was a question from chat. No, it's. I mean, but we, you've got to remember with Hellfire is you. Getting, I'm not. No, I'm not knocking the price. I was just no, asking no. the price. Es essentially, you're getting. But but just to, to remind people who or people who think, oh my goodness, uh, you you are getting a, essentially a, a lifetime warranty with them. They'll 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 fix it for you. They'll the support, customer support for Hell, Hellfire is unbelievable. And it's and it's uh, made in the UK. It's made in the UK. It's it's made in house. It's not just made in the UK. It's made in house. If you see Darren's shed, it's not a shed. It's a, this massive workshop. The, the, it's a one man show, making all of this amazing gear. Um, and a, and a, like I said, the, the after sale service is, is superb. But the likelihood is you'll not need it because yeah. it's so well made. It's so well made. The, um, the build quality for Hellfire has always been famous. It, the, on the yeah, I think extremely. They're probably they're probably the, the premier yeah. manufacturer yeah. for squonk stuff, are they? Do you think? Or that have gone? Hundred oh, percent. I'm not saying they're better than the smaller models, but they are actually going at it where they're making some sort of volume of very yeah. high quality stuff. Absolutely. Atties and everything, you know. Right. We I love. Them. We I have another. We have a new, new, new release, don't we? Uh, we have. We've got uh, the the Haku uh, Vena. I really wanted to say Vienna then. Yeah, it's not. It's the Vena. Mm. Um, the Pro are doing the rounds at the minute on the on the Herco Vena. I've just uploaded some new ones that came in um, last night. I think so I should have some, I should have several picks now of the of the of the Vena. We've got deck picks and uh, oh, here we are. So we had we had this. These were early picks. These were from earlier in the week. Uh, kind of like a bit of a sneak a sneaky peek. Um, I'm going to try and guess that that's it. That is it. That is it. Yes, thank you. If I've not been able to love it correctly, thank you. And the um, last ones as well. There is. So there's a couple of which were like uh, this. This is again. This is the Proto. A couple of people got their hands on it. Russ House has got has got has got his hands on one. Uh, this was some chat. I didn't recognise his name. It's on the Bay 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 there. Um, but, but but then on the actual site, the release of deck picks. So we've got a couple of side by sides. You can see it looks a little bit like. Um, can you not a back one there just for for a second there, Rick? You can see that's the comparison pick to the original Haku, which I do not like the looks of. I'm not a fan of the Haku original um, original styling. Um, although I did mention um, Burio cups last week, uh, and I think and I thought they really kind of sexied it up. Uh, by the way, uh, Burio cups is got a new run this week of, of Burio, Burio cups. Uh, for the Haku and for the for the Nada, the era, the era Do you, like, you like the new look more? I like the new look a lot more. I didn't. I, I don't like the squareness of the original one. It's still that finish, though, isn't it? It is still the finish, and I know. I know that's a little bit of chalk. I didn't like the little plinth for the drip tip. Don't like it. I, I I know that limits you on your drip tips. It does limit you on your drip tips. But other other uh, manufacturers have gone with it, and drip tip manufacturers. Have kind of about that and made drip tips to suit. I do. Yeah. I don't think it's. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's a really big deal. Uh, I think within uh, a very short space of time, there'll be people not on our drip tips which match that absolutely perfectly in the bore that you that you want. Obviously, you, you you're limited in the actual diameter because you've got to kind of stick to that a little bit. Um, although a smaller drip tip you can probably get away with. What's, yeah. the, what's the handling charge going to be on this? Well, there's been no mention of the handling charge quite yet. Um, I, I, my understanding is Haku are doing away with the handling charge. It's Whoa! Like, going forward. Um, if you don't like it, can you check it on eBay? Let's, 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 uh, let's, just, let's see the deck. Let's see the deck. So, are, so they doing, are they doing two versions? Or is that the same version? They only did one version this time. I, I think. I mean, as far as I can tell, that's exactly the same deck. As far as I can tell, that's yeah. just that's just showing you. That's just showing you two decks. It's massive. It's a massive. You're going to be able to get ginormous coils in there. Like, I, I don't, it's I don't like know. the cruiser, the cruiser of the Hakus. Then it is. As as far as I'm aware, we've got no. There's been no mention of a of a 
of a smaller restricted deck. People, besides, I mean, I've, I, I have not, I've not owned a, a Haku. But who was saying, well, you just, you just chuck some extra cotton in there. It makes absolutely no difference at all. Mm, mm. Yeah, I'm um, enjoying mine with it's filled up with cotton. It's great. Yeah, so, so that, that's the deck there. You, you can see you've got the little, uh, the little ridge in for putting your um, your coil and rod in. Um, as as demonstrated just then and that looks like a big fat beefy coil and rod to me you can see that it it, yeah, it's be. kind of it's demonstra demonstrating just how big a coil you can get in there you want your fancy schmancy um wire in there you're going to be able to get uh mohawk flattens in there and that sort of thing without any problem at all but the airflow is it looks a little different you've got a, a bigger airflow hole on the bottom and a smaller one on the top i don't think they're they're particularly adjustable other than you know, your, your lefty righty kind of um, closing it down a little bit. Yeah, they don't seem to have any control, but they have got the holes. And I know it's, I've always thought the holes, numerous holes is better than a big hole. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, I totally agree as well. I totally agree as well. I think, I think. Can't uh, two holes are better than one. Two holes <laughs> are always better than one. Well, that's four um, holes, isn't it? Four holes. Oh, four holes there. If you, if you, yeah, yeah absolutely. I um, wouldn't even know what to do with the four hole. I mean, I mean, I know her crew are currently they, they did a run uh, just just quite recently of um, single hole top cups. Um, I don't know how popular they have been, but at least if you if you've got multiple holes, you can always you can choose one the one that, to your liking. So I know Craig would disown me if I didn't say it. That, that's what killed Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a, a very interesting looking coil art deep row. Yeah, we'll we'll see how it is. I, I, I did notice this on uh, one of the pictures. There, is, there appears to be uh, that that kind of thing where you can you kind of lock in the. The airflow, you know, you you can't turn, you can't just spin the airflow around and round and round. Kind of locks in at, at a at three quarters of a turn or whatever, or a quarter of a turn, and vice versa. Or whatever. Could could, uh, a, could an argument be made that it's not different enough from a Haku? I, th I think it looks bigger than a Haku. I think I think everything's been widened up. I, it looks I to me maybe, maybe more. just more of an evolved. Haku. So rather than a completely new RDA, it's it's an evolution of their existing. I mean, it's certainly. I mean, it looks slammed. It looks as though the um, mm -hmm. the actual top cap is, is is definitely shorter. So the actual internals, uh, although the, the actual deck size is looks big, I think the 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 height is going to be much is going to be much smaller. Yeah, they've they've taken the the existing cruiser, the one with the increased internal space, slammed the cap increased the space internally even more yeah and altered the airflow and they've obviously done that for a reason yeah well i mean we'll we'll we'll, we'll see um we'll see. i mean it's, I, it's, I, it's I exciting even, though it's exciting it is, i mean i messaged uh steve asani earlier on for some more information and i heard absolutely nothing back he's obviously a very busy man um so uh so that that was that's the haku vena does he know who you are Pardon? Does he know who you are? You've got no idea who I am. <laughs> no idea who I am. But he'll, 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 he'll find out. Darren in chat did do the thing that I was waiting for one person to do, which is he, he put, it means nothing to me. Haku Vienna. I did very much enjoy that. Oh, yes. <laughs> very good. No, that's cool. That's exciting. And, and we'll get to follow that all the way through. We'll see when it comes out and everything. Absolutely. So oh, these, these, look at these, that. These, I just see what you've got oh, next, James. James is advertising for something that if it breaks, you're fucked. What well, I don't know got? which picture to show, though. This is the, this is the sun box. Don't right. buy it, because oh, you will definitely that? break it. Oh, look, the there is, there is the a black, light. You're the right. black plastic mod. The black plastic mod. It's labelled sun box, I think. Uh, this, these are... All right, so we're we'll starting with the dimensions here. So <laughs> before we... Uh, <laughs> So this is a this is it's not it's 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 a nylon it's a nylon mode it's, it's going to be available in Beckham MOSFET. It's quite lightweight. There we go. There it is. It's, it's very it's, very lightweight for when you post it back to Italy when it breaks and you'd never see it again. Your that is uh, the mod you will be sending all the way back to Italy. Your um, 
Some box of French. Um, Are they? Okay, you'll never see it again. It's fine. Your, um, I, I believe so. I believe so. Uh, your, pretty sure they're Italian. I've met them. Postage of Paris. I thought they were French. Um, no. I, anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, <laughs> yes, you, you post match will be will be will be limited because this is going to be super duper lightweight. What you've got there is you've got a minimalistic as anything uh, mech stroke. Uh, MOSFET is what you've got there. All I've got at the minute is the pictures and them little few them little few specs for the size. And you can see it's probably going to be teeny tiny because it is not much bigger than a battery. That's a battery you can see. That's not a battery tube. That's the actual battery itself. I will uh, say I'm being a bit mean because if you, I mean if you've got the money and you want to get you know something like that, then you know buy a Hellfire. Um, <clears throat> See, I don't like the look of it. The picture like of the, the two is too exposed. The picture of the two. Yeah, there's a few differences in there. If, can you go back one picture? Yeah, there's two yeah. different versions there. Looking at that, there is, there is, there is a MOSFET. Oh, and okay. Mech. On. Oh, oh, so this, right, this bigger okay. one is a MOSFET one. Obviously, it must be up in there or something. It, it's got to be. It's got to be because there's, there's there's obviously going to be more. We, but that picture there kind of demonstrates. You can see um, that's a that's a. Uh, that's a brownie in there. That battery is, uh, yes, yeah. is is exposed, and you can see. But I think that's going to be pretty cool for people who, you know, like the, to wrap the, the the batteries in cool designs and that sort of thing. It's, it's not, not, it's not very, it's it's not very sunbox, is it? It's it's, a, it's not their typical design. What do you mean? It's do, you not? Think, do you think it's going to work? <laughs> <laughs> the mech will, won't it? If you, if you buy, you're going to buy one. Buy the mech one because you it's got to be fixable and you. You know, you've got to be able to maintain it and do it yourself. I'd imagine if it, if it leaks and set fire to itself, don't it? Don't expect yeah. it. Mech one won't though, will it? The mech one will be all right. No. Definitely. I, don't, I don't know. I mean, um, some some box are uh, are in bed with Infinity mods at the minute. I don't know whether Alessandro's had a had a hand in this at all. Um, whether they're using his 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 MOSFET in there or whatever. Um, but it, it's, it's it's early days. It's a first look. I'm I being mean, a, 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 a lot of people on the high end groups. They, they owe a lot in customer service. They're not fans of Sunbox because of their of their, their previous record. Mm. Um, uh, the chat saying that same thing. They don't want it. Pass. No thanks. <laughs> this is uh, very popular in chat. Well, well, I mean, it's, 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 it's the styling as well. The styling is. It's a um, bit weird, isn't it? I don't like. I don't like this design on that. Got <laughs> Mick, Mick, Blizzard, Mick Blizzard in chat said, "In the box comes an addressed prepaid envelope." <laughs> <laughs> comes with a prepaid envelope. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I, I don't think. To be honest with you, I don't think black is the best color. I mean, normally, I would say black is is. They've done. The, the shame is they made some thing. absolutely fantastic looking mods. They they have. I'm not going to knock that. They're absolutely beautiful. They don't work, but they're very pretty. I'm sure the vast majority of them work absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're so <laughs> nice. However, know. however, um, yeah, there there has been there has been some issues which have been highlighted quite publicly on on some of the uh, some of the Facebook groups. Uh, but I mean, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I've never wanted some box. I've, I've quite fancied a few of them. My only experience is um, is with got some box bottles. We're filler at the moment because Rick's getting a bit. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I'm completely stuck with regards to. Uh, <laughs> he's back. Made he's made of, oh, sorry, oh. He's fired into the next thing. It's so, 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 so next week, I've, I've got uh, what I've got labelled as new kids on the block. I've got a couple of new modders, which are some people who you might you might know from uh, from UKS and. Um, iOS, maybe safer for vapors, whatever. Some, for some of them kind of um, them, them kind of groups, uh, and we've got whichever whichever pick you want to put up first, Rick, and I'll talk about them. Okay, lovely. So this is the Demonica. Oh, I haven't whatever. heard of this mod. I haven't heard whatever, of it. Whatever, can't. I've got I've got a couple of picks, and these are all just prototypes. At the minute, I mean, this one here is from uh, is from Ryan, uh, at Ryan and Megan, at De am I calling it demonic? What did I, I asked them? I said I said I specifically said how would you like us to pronounce this, um, and he said I can't 
can't remember what he said. And what I'm going to call it the, the demonic, uh, dem dem demonic, demonitor. Dem I can't, I'm just, I'm awesome this up now, aren't I? It looks comfy. Now. It, it? It do, it's got, it's got a little bit of a cut away. It's, it's an, again, this, this is a, this is a, it's, it's a prototype, but it's, it's not bad for a pro. I must admit, it's not one pretty tidy. It kind of reminds me of a uh, Death Wish mod logo. Mm. Yeah, the upside the, down the, cross. The yeah. unholy or whatever. That's uh, it. I, I felt I had to say something because of that. Because Jack, I think I was Jack asleep in chat. Really <laughs> not talking. I'm going to sleep. No, maybe it's a bit squiffy. Do you know what it is? In the private chat, I just wrote that these leffy beers are kicking my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize they were that strong. I thought I'd just stick to you. You've been sitting here two hours drinking them. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so anyway, this is the Demonita. That's what I'm calling. I'm, I'm sticking with that. The, the Demonita. Demonita. Uh, it's it's the, the the proto is an alamide. Uh, it's got uh, five. It's got 925 silver contacts. It's got the, the MM, the mod, the, the, the beautiful mod maker, silver 510. I, I, like, I think the internals are, are lovely, actually. I, I yeah, have no the, yeah. It, it looks really small. It looks really tidy, doesn't it? Really, really tidy. Yeah, I like that. Uh, the height is 74 mils. The width is 24.5, and the length is 51 mils. Now, you remember, you've got a bit of a cutaway there. Length is what? The length is... 51 mils the, the oh, sorry the, the width at, uh, he's, he's wrote it down as the length um yeah okay yeah. so that so the height is 74 the width is 24.5 the length which is you know the breadth or whatever you want to call it absolutely from that to there is 51 mils yeah. um it's got all um, it's got all mod meter internals uh, he's going to be offering a, ve a variety of um of bottles for it either, either he has he hasn't decided exactly what he's going to use but he's looking at day mode he's looking at your own there uh, rick he's also looking at two different versions uh the low gold version and a low gold less version for people who, who are not into the actual there's going to be loads of options there's going to be absolutely loads of options by the looks of it it's nice uh, to see somebody doing something with a bit of shape and uh, a different design it is it's a it's, a, it's, yeah. got, a little bit, it's got a little bit of something to it i mean he did, he did a live feed last night on his group and um and he, and he kind of showed it off and it and it did it does look pro a lot you know for a, for a prototype it's, it almost looks like the finished product i really think that, yeah. that's a very well well finished polished off prototype yeah yeah but it looks nice doesn't it, it looks very very nice i mean during his live feed there was some um some kind of shouty music going on in the background and i'm guessing Ryan and Megan are kind of they like that shouty music kind of thing, and they've kind of they've kind of designed a mod around that shouty music sort of thing. Is that shouty, shouty music mod. Is it, heavy is it a heavy metal mod? No, it's it's it's, it's more that <sighs> death metal mod. It's 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 more, it's, it's, it's yeah, it's alamide, it's alamide music mod or something. I don't know. Uh, I think I think it's I think it's trial for Tarbar time. It's not, it's not, it's not. It, what time is it? Blimey, it's 11 o'clock. Um, I have got another one. I've got, I, oh, happy, sorry, did I wasn't. Let me with. share it. Let me get straight in. Here we go. Okay, I'll, I'll be really quick about this. This is, sorry. this is Fizz's, Fizz Jan. Yeah, I'm sure you're all aware of Fizz Jan. He's got a proto on the go at the minute. He had a little bit of an accident, accident with the one he actually built up. Um, so he took some photos of his spare bodies for us today. This is really early days. However, this is a little bit different in so much as it's it's flask shape almost. Yeah, so it's got some curve to it, hasn't it's it? It's got a little bit of curve to it. You can see on that one there, it's, it's got a little bit of a flasky shape. Right? This is, like I say, this is proper early, early, early days for Fizz. Um, it, it, the the next the next version will be undergoing a lot of differences, a lot of changes, I believe. This is the beauty of having a 3D printer is you can prototype things like this to see how they feel and make changes before you go and spend on SLS printing. And, and, and I think uh, I think the, the cutaway is gonna have gonna have a little bit of difference. It's now gonna have um he, he was gluing the the MOSFET in, he's now gonna have a couple of little screw holes uh, above and below the fire button. The scrunkle's gonna be a little bit a little bit different, but it, but generally that that shape, that kind of flasky hand shape. Um, it, he's definitely sticking with you. He thinks it's a comfy design. It's something different. I don't think we've really had a squonker, uh, certainly a 3D printed squonker, 
that's that shape other than the the the, the flask uh, squonk yeah, the, the, the left-handed squonk people are going to be very unhappy with him well, he, well here's the thing here's the thing well, it's funny you should mention that because he's got full intentions of making a left and a right version of this yeah, he'll he'll keep those lefties happy he will he will he will he's he, he's he, he's trying to keep everybody happy it's this, this top picture is that that's it that's it that, that there's his 3d render and you can see that oh. you've got both versions you've got a lefty and a righty this is the new version you can see on there we've got the little screw holes above and below um i think he needs a little bit more of a hole on it well he, I, think he, I think he's reduced the hole because he dropped the proto and smashed the bottom so i think he's hit oh, all right he wants a little bit more strength in the bottom so uh, like I say, it's 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 really early days. I just want to show you because he, he is quite. Uh, I mean, he's he's on our group. He's on UKS. He he, he mm. does a bit of um, like you know, because he's a graffiti artist or whatever, or he's an artist or um, kind of in his, in his spare time. Uh, he's a chef, yeah. and um, and he's kind of moving into mod making. He's kind of moving into mod making. I just thought him oh. and Ryan were doing um, they're quite prolific in the groups, you know. The, kind of you know and the, and the friends and i thought it'd be nice to bring uh, their mods to the show and like like show it show them off a little bit that was that was kind of what it was nice. okay let's have a little bit of try of guitar bar. come on it's what everybody's been waiting for that and obviously the the dinner crack go try on Batava. if anybody's still still there if anybody's still there they're all still here still here they're not here what it's all about Things that remind you of vaping, but they aren't really vaping at all. Excellent. That's <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen. It's <laughs> things that remind you of vaping that are. Vinny, if you've not seen the segment before, this is going to. This oh, will. Oh, it's a trap. Right. You ain't going to know about the fucking What will happen from now on is things that, that are not necessarily vaping related. You'll see them and go, Oh my goodness, that reminds me of Vietnam. <laughs> you know what? I had a moment like that the other day. I went out to buy a light bulb and it was one of these retro style light bulbs. And I was looking at the, the wire in the coil inside and I was thinking, thinking, I wonder what ohms that is. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't realize and I was like, stop it. <laughs> Absolutely. That's that's a try of Vitava. That's a try of Vitava, Vinny. That's try. You're okay. about to go from uh, six to noon, Vinny. Okay. Oh, this is from Ali. Ali Keaton, right? Auntie Ali. Oh, yeah. Right. This came in uh, not after the show last week, I think. She won't still be awake. Oh, poor <laughs> Ali. Yes, it, it reminded her of Vietnam because because obviously it's I ended the Snapdragon part of my life. Part of me is snapped. The other part of is dragon. It's Snapdragon, isn't it? It's the it's yeah, by it's mind yeah. of Vietnam. And, uh, it's just, a good name. Yeah, thanks very much, Ali. Lovely, lovely. Next one, let's whiz, whiz through them. This one, this is from Bob. That's a messed up picture. What the hell is <laughs> that? What is that? that? <laughs> I mean, I'm pleased it's late. I'm pleased it's after 11 o'clock, to be honest with you, because there's any kids out there watching. This is terrifying. Look at this one. Forced, forced Vietnam with the, the eyes all... This is it's a horrendous <laughs> picture. The, the 1920s was not for pussies. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's that, was that was good. That is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a nice one. This is the this is the siren. It's like a penguin thing, isn't it, or dolphin, whatever it was. It's it's the siren, isn't it? Is that what is that how you pronounce it? Siren. Yeah, it's it's a really siren drop. So on it? the left on the left hand side is his try of batar bar. On the right hand oh. side is is the ceremon which is a oh, okay. thing uh, on the left hand side that is an eraser that's a rubber oh okay yeah huh. all and, right and, and it's kind of you, you you flip that back and there's a rubber in that circular there's a circular rubber in that bit there and, and, it, and it reminded of a vapor so he took a photo and he nicely kind of look at look at it i mean i didn't do this this chap did this who, who was that again it's that is bradley morris bradley we Brandy love your style. We love your style. Well done. Yeah. Top well, line, Brad. Good man. I don't remember who this is. Bryn. Oh, it's Bryn. Yes, it is. It's Bryn. So this is uh this this is, this is Gus. Oh yes, that was. A it good does one. look a bit like us, actually. <laughs> That's he saw the, he saw the tractor advert, which out is a great bit of software. Oh, he is. Uh, I, he's he's saw that on facebook and it reminded him of gustav 
And so this not really Gustav at all, is it? It's not really Gustav at all. So that, that's not really uh, a try of guitar, Mark. That's more of a, a vip y likey yeah. things that remind you of Gustav, but aren't really Gustav at all. Yeah, yeah that's what that is. Lovely job. Tryog, Batargar. Far, <laughs> far better looking and clearly way more Scottish than Gus. Not better looking. Never. Never better looking. Well, you know he's coming back to the country, don't I you? Bet Rich? This bloke can't kick balls like Gus can. Nice. Rip them off with his teeth. Yeah. That's what Gus is Colin Albins, I saw this one. I thought this is great, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> things Dorr. that remind you of vaping, or things that Ryan remind you of Ryan Dorr was showing his new compressor. Right, <laughs> it almost looks like that minion. Have you seen that minion mod? Well, he's yeah. got a minion on there as well. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, someone, that, someone that did remind do you of a minion, minion, not they? things that remind you of vaping. <laughs> but but uh, you gotta you gotta you gotta remember Mr. Cactus, his avatar. That's that's Mr. Cactus in the corner there. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh I see. And that's I why it reminded him of Vaping because it reminded him of his <laughs> avatar, which looks at which is I mean and I and I know that because I I I did that avatar for him. That um mm. profile picture. Yeah, very good. Very good, very good, very good. I'm, I'm prolific. <laughs> Craig Nichols. This is from Craig. This is all oh, this. I think this is his new super duper laser from his work that is able to like cut through Bond villains. He's cut see? through Bond villains. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. trust Craig with a laser. No. That's on the head of Craig's sharks, isn't it? All the laser cutters. I don't know what yeah. it is actually. I like it. Time, Julie, didn't explain. It does look like a mouth to lung, I would say. <laughs> it is that, that that is the smallest dip drip tip I have ever seen. Yeah, that's a that's a proper Gustav one. He'd like that. Oh yes, that's restricted. no airflow. One mil drip tip. That's res restricted. Okay, next one. Let's have a look. Oh right, this one. This one's I actually thought it was e-liquid, and I didn't get it. Okay, no. right. Well, I I did a little bit of research on goo. I can tell you all about. Is it the goo. smoke machines? No, 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 no. This is something to do with fishing, okay? Oh, um, is it boily? Is it a boily flavour? I'm, I'm going to tell you, I, I wrote down some stuff on goo. I've done, I've done my research on goo. I'm going to tell you, goo is a soak, a glug, and a spod mix additive. Oh, I, exactly. I know what a spod is. A spod is, is like a rocket that you cast out and you fill it up with bait and you cast it and it dumps the bait when it hits the water it turns up and dumps it all in the same place ah. well let me tell you what you can do with goo you can soak pellets you can mix with water to dampen ground bait yeah you can add bait smokes to pva on their own or doubled up with power smokes obviously you can, you can soak skinned tigers yeah T tiger pellets yeah you can glug boilies the list goes on uh, obviously yeah yeah and that makes sense yeah, I was like, oh, careful, Jen. You're, you're speaking northern there. You need Big to revert back to Big English. Don't know about this. He's as the old carp fishing. It's a carp fishing bait, basically. It and is. Appa apparently, the carp love a bit of goo. Love it. See, I had no idea about about fishing or anything like that. And when you said you can soak tigers. In it, I swear you used to say about tigers. I actually thought you meant you can rub that on a tiger. Oh, yeah, you definitely can. If your balls are big enough to rub that on a tiger, go right ahead. Skin tigers. That's what I heard. And glug boilies. They're tiger nut. They're tiger nut pellets, aren't they? John, you sound like you know a bit about carp fishing, John. Me? I'm, no, I never don't fish for anything you can't fucking oh, yeah. eat. It's pointless. Oh, well, yeah. They're tiger nut, I think. See, I see uh, I'm a saltwater fisherman myself. Oh. Don't fish that. Anyway. Next. 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 <laughs> I really like that. I really like that. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. That's amazing. Who was this one from? Can you remember? This is from Ui Climb. Yeah, that's right. He put he posted the uh, the one that went on last week, which was the um the Afro Caribbean chap with the 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 four corn rolls on. Oh, yeah, like, we had yeah. this on the show last week, and he went. Yeah, that's what I was this, yeah. Well, I have some of this. Well, this thing has actually got eyes, nose, and mouth, is not it? As yeah, well, it's brill, absolutely brilliant. I love it. I love what it. What sort of atomizer is that? I've never seen that at you before. It's an RDTA, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I think so. A lot I of think cotton. So. I was going to say, it needs a bit of fluff in that cotton. That's too much. Yeah. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. 
Next! John, John Malcolm did just say in chat that he wouldn't want to rub anything on a tiger's nuts. Nice. He just wants everyone to know. Ah, you will. <laughs> he says that now. <laughs> These were a couple of, of, yeah. of stabilised doors. A couple of stabilised doors. These were... Who are these from, Rick? It is the second Miles worst. Miles Dawson. Giles. Stabilised ham. It's, it's, it's the second ham worst ham thing. Ham only ham. Under, under fucking corned beef. I was it was corned beef. It's, oh, tongue. It's Sorry, tongue. tongue. It's tongue. Yeah, tongue. Tongue yeah. hell. Yeah, horrible stuff. There we go. But but because it was shaped like stabilised wood, stabilised doors. I mean, yeah, it's, 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 got, it's, it's got the resin down the side there, isn't it? It's getting... <laughs> sure. <laughs> Lovely, absolutely lovely. I, I've oh, got no man. idea where this came from, but obviously the the the, 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 the the no cool. Sorry, yeah, the no name graffiti on the back there is what uh, reminded him of it. And uh, this I don't, this looks like some sort of terrorist video. I, I'm not. It does, does. It does doesn't it? Yeah, let's forget <laughs> that one. Get rid of that one, yeah. Uh, this Aiden one was green. Spotted in Bali, I think was this one. Was it was the that was pretty good. Does anybody yeah, any know what, anybody know what the handling cost is on that? At least twenty quid. <laughs> I, I, I think that will have some genuine uh, import duty to play to pay. So uh, well, let's. I think that looks quite a tasty treat. Does it look like ch chocolate <laughs> marshmallow? Go. That more is chocolate kind of junk that I'd eat on a Friday after this. Yeah. Good, I, I like it. I, like like I would munch a haku. It's <laughs> like <laughs> that meme. What homes is that? Yeah, I'll tell you what I like about this picture. I like that they're not prepared to get any closer to the spring, <laughs> <laughs> the sp they're keeping around the corner from the spring. Jeff <laughs> <laughs> put this one up. Yeah, that's a that's a peep, peep and coil. What happened, like, like, seconds before, do you think Inspector Gadget had just solved the case? And just... <laughs> Go on. Oh, oh. Backpack party. <coughs> Someone's got the life in there. <laughs> oh, better. But this is, uh, this is uh, obviously Mouth to Lung Customs there. And what was like, I think we might have had an MTL Customs before, uh, but it came, it came on the, up on the feed and... Uh, I like trying. I like trying. I like get people involved. You know how we're, we're like involving people. Growing and growing. This this try of the tar bar, isn't it? I know, and I thought it was going to die. Yeah. Uh, it's really the main do. bit of the show. I think we could do a whole show on it. Look, hey. <laughs> this one came from young young John Martin. There, you can see he's got he's got some imperial imperial leather unicorn oh. <laughs> unicorn marshmallow. Yeah. Really? Oh, yes. My wife said, what phone burst shall I order? And she named them. And then she went, like, um, Safru, Strawberry, and she went, Unicorn Marshmallow. And I went, you know what I'm going to say. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that's cracking. Have we got one from John Smith here? Oh, uh, this one was good. This, one is, really this is the cleverest Triumph Guitar Bar ever. Yeah, you like this one? I can't Fucking see. love it. What are we looking at? Okay, this is this is this car is a larder, but it's got gullwing doors. Are they gullwing doors? Yeah. So oh. it's kind of a cool larder. Oh. Larder. It's fucking brilliant. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> larder. Cool larder. That is a thinker right there. That's actually a, that is actually a cool larder, isn't it? That I, is I cool. like it. I fucking love that. I was going to do John Smith. I was like, I don't get it. And then and then somebody put cool art. I was like, oh, God, it's fucking brilliant. That's amazing. Oh, I actually like the car. It's different. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that car's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'd fucking love to drive that. Same, yes. Yeah. Oh, somebody put, no, it's scissor doors, which I kind of agree because Gala, like, like that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. Thank you very much. That was Ian. good. Yeah. Well, well said, cuz. <laughs> uh this one uh this one this was really really reaching uh this is uh try but of our condiments yeah vinegar uh, yeah <laughs> that's really reaching steeped custard or something well steeped custard no it's just it's you know it's it's kind of 
the the bottle is boxy at the top is kind of a little bit like a drip tippy it's yeah kind of, i'd get past yeah, it quick yeah, yeah right. 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 Ten tenuous <laughs> Mark, <laughs> yeah that's Mark pretty good that's a good one that's a good yes, one it was and an, another <laughs> Thanks, another so Todd pierced one. Oh, that was that was from the Craig, wasn't it? <laughs> I just want to know so much about what happened there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot, Todd. <laughs> uh, How did he ruin that night? I just want to know everything. <laughs> uh, it's another one. This one was a video. It was only kind of on a loop, but it was too short to really uh, to capture and play. We're just. Uh, <laughs> anti-theft device which is amazing is this what it is an anti-theft or is an anti-fire device is no, this anti-theft anti-theft yeah. but this is yeah, outside we, of the shop we used yeah, to have exactly. those in south africa it's a, an automatic tear gas dispenser well this, yeah this was the kind of this was the idea was to blind the person tear gas into the room yeah oh. it's not we don't use tear gas here bro <laughs> <laughs> you really should it's so funny <laughs> I've, been, I've been gassed with tear gas before. Yeah. Are you really? I have, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know my dad got done when he went to an Indian takeaway. That was quite an explanation. I was in a club. club. I was in a the club. The only problem club. with was a wreck. I was in a club DJing and somebody slung a, t a CS gas canister. Yeah. Into the club. Yeah, and we got evacuated. My dad was the picking only up problem with away. these alarm systems is when you come home pissed. And you're <laughs> trying to turn the alarm off and you don't get it right. You end up getting <laughs> tear gas. That's not bad. <laughs> All right, Nick Millen. What? Are you and I'm surprised we haven't had this one before. This is uh, good. It's obviously the idea law, I'm sure. It was what we nicked to the Well, we didn't nick the name. Uh, 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 Mr. Paul Watley sent me that as an idea and we accepted it and went with it. Oh, good old Watters. I do, I do miss him. I do. Good, great, great, great. This is from Paula. Paula, who, who apparently reads many, many, many zombie porn, isn't it? Maybe. Zombie porns. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you look at it, this is the thing. If you look at this, uh, Lily went right to him, knelt down. She did what she does best. Uh, whispered it's only for something or other. And then, but the, the reason this is a tribe of guitar artists because it's got a little home sign at the top of, of the page. Yeah, but home is not typically used. That's, it's it's a Greek character, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. It is. For Omega, so it's not strictly just used for homes. But it reminded her of vaping. And yeah. It's not yes, vaping at all. Mm. It is. But it wasn't that, really given at all. Excellent. It's just one of Paula's many filthy books. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Filthy zombie books. Fifty Shades of Red. <laughs> 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 Remind you of James, but <laughs> yeah, canny. It's quite canny. Who's from the northeast? Biffa, lovely. Yeah, that's a good viz one. This is a good one. I like this one. Yeah. Oh. Pete, Pete, Mr. Pete Nixon. Mr. Pete Nixon. Yeah. I'm very happy to be to be uh, compared at all to John Ronson. He's a fucking genius. He's a great writer, isn't he? Absolutely great writer. Yeah. How many of these are there? <laughs> <laughs> so there's a, four more, four more. Oh, that's a go. Bit of a one. Yeah, go on. This is a. Uh, this is a, this is a. Oh, a reaching. This is brick. Yeah, yeah. I know. I put them all in these days. Let's put them all in. I'm just go yeah. next. It's got to be a, the, the nose oh, trimmer. Oh, yeah, if if, if Mark Holmes was to make nasal trimmers, that was good. I did like yeah. that. Yeah. I wouldn't take the This is a green shot, like 2018. That, this one is from me. This has got a little. If you look in the middle there, look in the middle, look in the middle, look in the middle. In the middle. Yeah. Got a little honey. Oh, I really hope <laughs> someone can beat me. I went in boots today to try and find my mum a Mother's Day present, and I did that thing where you get worried and you just throw money at it. End up spending thirty-eight pounds on a bottle of perfume. I was like, fuck, fuck. Yeah, did that. Crazy. Next one. I love to last see a woman one, in boots. Last one. <clears throat> this is a try of. What did he? What was the tell us? Try of guitar bar. Oh, oh, and just that, that head in there was enough for me to add this to the list. Try a guitar bar. That's Tom Beatty. That's I the think um, the Daedalus, which is the coiling thing, isn't it? Very good. I think we're going to have to go straight to. <laughs> what, what about we need to ask we Vinny some stuff? We've been talking to Vinny, have we yet? And... Oh, yes, we do. 
Oh, a three hour show. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take more beers here so I can, I can do it. <laughs> Go, I'm being trying to be good. I've got another beer on the floor and I'm like, I'm trying to behave. I'm trying to behave. I'll do Go. a showcase next week, a bigger one next week. It's all right. Yeah. Let's talk um, about Vinny. Come on, Vinny, tell us about your YouTube channel and all of that. Oh, oh Vinny, on. what's going on? How, how long have you been reviewing now, Vinny? Um, probably about a year and eight months, something like that, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, I took a break. I had a, I had a motorcycle accident, so I took a break um, after everything happened and that. And I just got back to it. I think my first review back was Vaporbox. I think I signed back up to that, and I got a Vaporbox in the post, and I uh, reviewed that. Because we probably all first met you or saw you on YouTube with the actual like expo vids. Like, yeah, I mean, uh, vape jam is kind of where it where it took off for me because um, I was kind of like plod plodding along in that, and then I wanted to go to Vapor Expo. The first one I heard about was Vapor Expo, and then I kind of googled it, and then it came up with Vape Jam, and I was like, "Yeah, let's go, let's do it." And it was in like a, a couple of months' time, and I was like, "Okay, I, I want to go," and I thought. You know, I started going onto YouTube and searching for vlogs of the event, and I saw some vlogs, and they were all very um, time lapse with music, and I couldn't actually watch them because it, it kind of made me a bit motion sickness from it all. And I was like, okay, cool. So I had an idea about how I wanted to vlog it, and and since then the the channel's kind of kind of grown quite a lot, which is nice. So whereabouts are you in the country, Kent? Kent. Kent. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where are you in Kent, Vinny? Uh, just outside Dartford. Oh, yeah. All right. You know I'm from Kent. Oh, are you? I'm in Tommy Trails. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're well close to me. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I have to come down sometime. We'll go for a, we'll go for a Belgian beer. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so you started off with, not started off with, but that sort of was like the, your first big thing, wasn't it? The event vlogging. Yeah. I, I mean, that, that kind of is the one that, I mean, it, none of my videos went viral or anything like that. But that, but, but the but the day one vape jam blog, that is kind of what went big for me. Yeah, because you, know? you actually bothered to do it like a vlog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, when I was excited to go to 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 vape jam, I, I went onto YouTube and I started wanting to watch videos about it because I wanted to know what to expect. And I was just like a kid; I was excited, um, and and I didn't really i mean there was a couple on there but there was a lot of them were very time lapsy with music and i didn't like the music or it was just too much like jumping around and things like that so i kind of had it in my head how i wanted to i wanted to film it as if something that i would actually want to watch that would keep me engaged and, and things like that so what's this is the obvious question that we've got to ask yeah. what's with the, what's with the name what was the thinking um, well, Sir Vapes a lot was taken, so. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I guarantee you that's actually what it was. Um, I mean, I used to, I don't know, Sir and a lot, you know, you could put anything in the middle and, and believe me, people have, people have put everything under the sun in the middle of that. And it, and it kind of works, Sir something a lot. And, um, and I, I thought, well, well, you know, I'm vaping. I do it quite a lot. I was like, so vapes a lot. And then I went onto YouTube and it was taken. I was like, oh shit. And the only thing is though, the person who has taken it has uploaded probably about five videos. And I was like, oh, it's always the same. That's always yeah. the same. So, so I thought, okay. And it, it took me ages to think. I was like, okay, add ING on it. I mean, people still call me Sir Vapes a lot. And the, uh, what, what, what's that magazine? Uh, something owns, oh. Sub -ohm magazine. Sub -ohm. Sub -ohm, that's it. Yeah, Sub -ohm. And there, there's, um, I got tagged in something and they were said, oh, look, you're, you're tagged in this. And it was Sir Vapes a lot. And I was like, is that me? I was thinking, that's not my name. I was like, but, you know, so I was like, who knows? But yeah, that's 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 the idea behind it. It doesn't matter what name you have anyway. It's what you put out there, and that's yeah. just grows people, anyway. People no, find your, it. Uh, just as a, um, your your inspirations to do the whole YouTube thing. What what? Who did you first start? Oh, well, hello. Sorry, how long have you been vaping? And who did you first start watching to get your, your idea? Um. Oh God, vaping. It's probably about four, four, five years, something like that. Four yeah. years. 
It's weird. I'm not very good with dates and that. Um, but oh, shit, to be honest, when my mum was born, sometime um, before me. I, honestly, I don't know when anyone's birthday is. Someone will yeah, tell them. Oh, it's, it's so and so's birthday today. Like, oh shit, you know. That's why. But that, that's that's what wives and girlfriends are for. But that's actually what Facebook's for. Because you wake up in the morning, it's like, oh, this this person's birthday today, and it's like, oh it god. Doesn't give you a warning on the important ones, though, does it? No, no, it should give you like a couple of like 10 days notice or saying like it's getting closer. I'll buy something, Quick. <laughs> then, but then it's the <laughs> gift card job, isn't it? Yeah. It's the gift card. Um, yeah, so I mean, to, to the inspiration to start the YouTube channel was literally because um, I started vaping and I was coming back from a camping trip, and there was a guy in the pub I remember, and he was vaping on this long metal tube thing. and I started talking to him about it. I'm quite a social person, I just talk to anyone. And he was telling me all about it. And then on the drive home, I stopped off at a petrol station. I bought one. It was a flavor, um, ego, ego pen. Right. And I just loved it. The first pull I had, I was like, my God, it's just like a cigarette. And I, and I was blown away by it. Um, and so I really enjoyed it. And I started telling other people about it and, and getting them onto to vaping. And someone said to me, he goes, well, you've bought so many vape devices. You like helping people. Why not do a YouTube channel? And I was like, you know, who's going to want to watch me sitting in front of a camera talking about this stuff? <laughs> but uh, but no, I decided to. The people I started watching first, the first ever YouTube I watched was um, Indoor Smokers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. And uh, and then it was Grim Green. And the only reason I watched him was because of the Inakin 147, is it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, it, it, it's, it's Nick over, Nick's coming over to Jam this year again, isn't it? It's that one. Yeah, then. Nick. Oh, Nick yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hang out with us. We can all disturb yeah, Nick. We'll be going yeah, out but, drinking with him. We have a knack for disturbing yeah, Nick. Yeah. Um, well, Dimitri is is coming to Jam as well. And oh. I had Dimitri and Nick on my show on Monday, which still mind boggles me how I managed to do that. Um, I've got to do a lot of sexual favours when I see him at Jam. That's all right. Yeah, I sucked him off. Give him some Kinder Beer now. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, they said the about off. about going for a beer and that. That'd be cool. Go to the weather spoons. No, there's a pub no, that's outside. The expo. The that's Expo. There's not a weather spoons at Jam. No, no, there's a fox at Jam. Okay. Um, but do you know what? I actually remember we'll seeing Richard at Expo. I, I, I was walking back to the hotel. I was walking home, and you was with a load of people in the weather spoons. You were sitting outside, and I just went round. I just said hello. I waved you and that, and you was like, "Oh yeah, you're right." I was like, "Oh shit, you remember me?" I was like, oh, "That's crazy." You might have been drunk. You might have been drunk and just said hello to anyone. <laughs> no, no, I remember straight away. Yeah, you're the only guy with like loads of cameras. Dropped. I was gonna say, I'm I'm the douche with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, we got. Sorry, sorry. We got, go. When you're not doing all this nonsense, then what is what's the day job? What's the real life? Uh, well, my, my full-time job, I'm a, I'm a head chef. I'm a head chef, so I work in a restaurant. That's why a lot of the time my evenings are, are really taken up. Um, hence why literally I was, I was doing all the tables. I was prepping all the food for the orders before I left tonight to come right. home. Um, and, and then I had to drive quite fast home to get here because it was actually, it was a, it was a busy night. We had a couple of bookings, but then it was basically a full restaurant and I was like, Oh God, I've got to leave soon. <laughs> yeah. Mother's mother's day. People going in early. Yes, indeed. <laughs> what are your kind of, give us a rundown of your top. Like if you've got two top three e-liquids, you only have three, you go on a desert island, you're allowed a, a massive ton drum of it or whatever. Uh, see that that's hard for me because I mean I'm well, still doing juice tough reviews. Shit. You're only doing <laughs> fucking three tough cookie, mate. Um, my top e juices change quite regularly because I get different flavors in. But to be honest, I've been really enjoying the new Dutch range. Um, I've got a bottle somewhere of it. I, mean, I assume you're a three milligram man. Yes, indeed. Sorry, I, I use the word man there very loosely. Yes, what yes. <laughs> I'm not sure if I really am a man, to be honest. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so it's the new Dutch range. This isn't it, but it's the aftershock version. Okay, and, cool. Um, it's really nice. It's a strawberry cheesecake, I believe, but it's 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 good. Um, so that's that one. Uh, Max VG's liquid gold is really nice. It's like a um, caramel rice crispy square with. Do you know those ones you can get? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Yep, one of those, and probably a straw, another strawberry cream from a company called XJ Vapes. They're not a big company, 
they're a small company they started off with uh, in London with a shisha bar and they were yeah. actually the first ever company to send me anything for review so yeah that's pretty my top three at the, at the minute anyway cool you used to do the super awful vape show yes uh, I don't do that anymore but you but you do actually have your, your own live show which people should definitely check out on a Monday night isn't it it is indeed it's Monday night at eight o'clock and it's just titled let's talk with because the idea of the show was I wanted to I mean I've, I've gone into live shows before for like Mike vapes and things and I noticed that chat just goes crazy because obviously he's got a much larger um subscription than, than i do and and don't get me wrong i mean i'm grateful for everyone that subscribed to my channel of course um but it's it's questions that that can't be asked because the chat goes so crazy so i've all i know some people in the vape industry obviously like yourself richard um and, and other people and i was like let's see if i can get them on a live show where it's a smaller channel uh, smaller numbers and they can actually get questions asked and, and feel more part of it with these big famous people and it's going really well it's going nice i mean last week i had uh dimitri's like a co-host he's like a yeah. special co-host yeah, on every week and, and i mean that blows my mind in all fairness that dimitri the vaping reek has has agreed to be a special co-host and, Half and the man he used to be he and then so he is, now, isn't he he's he a lovely is. man though he actually sent me an updated picture because I've been using a picture where he's a bit overweight. And he's like, you, <laughs> use this one. <laughs> use this one from now on. Stop using that fucking picture. But, um, but you yeah, know, I mean, it blows my mind, to be honest. I mean, these people that I get to meet and that, that do remember me and that agree to come on the show. Like, I mean, like, like Nick, for instance, I met him uh, at Vape Jam last year and he remembered me, which blows my mind. And, and the fact that he agreed to come on the show even more so you know, I think, um, a, I, think I can I think I can totally say that for everybody who's on the idea and show. We've had our vaping heroes on the show, like like over and over again, and it's still so weird. You know, yeah. You know, I mean, guy, the, people message you back and you go, "Fucking hell, the fucking bloke I used to watch on YouTube four yeah. years ago." And he actually I'm, goes, "We well, have for dinner." Cool. Really cool. I mean, it, it is crazy. It's very. I mean, it. it it goes to show you that these people that obviously, I mean, in this industry, they are vape famous. I don't really like that term, but they are. But they're so humble about it and they're so nice as well. The right ones are. You know, yeah, well, not everyone, but <laughs> <laughs> everyone I've had on my show seems to be. <laughs> everyone we've had on our show is. Yeah, they've been, everyone's been great. We'll, um, we'll there's drop one a link next time you're live on the group. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. I mean, I don't like to share it on other people's groups. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, that'd be great. Thank Remind you. I'd love to have you guys time. on the show as well. You know, sounds yeah. cool. Yeah. James, James. Um, any up. questions, James, young man? Uh, yes, uh, well, a lot of them have been um, have been asked. Or, um, what What is your um, your favorite thing that you've that you reviewed, Vinny? What What was the, the best bit of kit or the worst bit of kit, just your favourite bit of kit because you, you, you had loads to talk about it or it, it, it was something different or it got the most views or whatever. What was you like the favourite, your most favourite bit of, of, of kit that you, that you reviewed? Um, well, the one that's, that's probably that got, out. yeah, something that's got a lot of views, which surprises me, is a, a, Vap, a Vapchio product. Um, that, and this is back when I first started my channel. And I mean, the review is shit. Honestly, <laughs> I I can't bear to watch myself. Looking back at my old reviews, even up till recently, they're, I mean, they're pretty crap. I don't know how anyone subscribed to me. <laughs> 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 but um, but no, I mean, okay, so, so far this year, something that stood out to me is, well, actually, no, towards the end of last year, actually, something that stood out to me is probably the speeder kit by Aspire. I really liked yeah. that mod. I did really Very like solid. it. You know, um, it, it was such a good little work workhorse mod. Um, this so far this year is probably. God, I'm trying to think what I've actually reviewed. Um, looking around for inspiration <laughs> is is possibly the blade blade kit mod uh, by Geek Vape because I like it that it's got that little sled in there rather than just the sleeve for the batteries it's actually got a sled adapter where you can right. fit in the 18650s and i like i like that and it stands out because of the color as well it's really weird 
Yeah, I like, but I think I think that's totally true. The fact that we all get lots of gear through our hands, and there's things that stand out because, for whatever reason, they stand out. Mm. It, it's something different. I mean, I, I still use it now, to be honest. I mean, it's just some people are going to love it, some people are going to hate it. But it reminds me of like the the seventies kind of like tie dye hippie style. Yeah, it looks different, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, I just wish it didn't fall over as much. <laughs> I really do. I mean, I've spoke to Geek Vape and they said they're not going to use that design again because it's just this little lip at the bottom and, and it just falls over. It really does. Brad, Brad, have you got any questions for the young Vinny? I do. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a, a serious question from chat at you first. Okay. Um I it, it, it's the most prolific question I've seen in chat or, or the most important one I've seen. Careful. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I, might, I might drop signal right now. I might lag a little bit. <laughs> are, are you a Kawasaki man? Yeah, I have seen that a lot. Am I a what? Sorry, Kawasaki, a Kawasaki man. man. Oh, Kawasaki is in the boat motorbike. Yeah, Kawasaki you're man. you're you're black and green, mate. It's, those are yeah, your colours. Yeah, yeah. I, I love I love Kawasaki. I really do. I think those. If I could afford it, and if I could trust myself on it not to go crazy then well, i would I, love I really, to have one i have to ask you the question because yeah. <laughs> having i'm trying to think, trying to think i've crashed five motorbikes um <laughs> what was your one <laughs> um well i say it motorbike it was you're going to take the piss now it was a moped That's all right. <laughs> it, was a, it was a scooter but it, yeah. it's got a motor and it's got two it's wheels fine, it's fine, a bike. Fine, fine, fine. It, went, it took you fast enough that you managed to crash it so yeah, yeah. Can't no it. Not at all. I didn't come off it. I was oh, hit. Up, I was hit up the back by a double decker bus. Oh fuck! Oh, yeah. that, that, that's still an accident. That'll do it. Um, so it wasn't even my fault, in all fairness. But uh, but it kind of put me off. It kind of put me if, off. If you stop in the middle of a motorway, it's still your fault. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know, but there was a billboard for the McRib, and I had a look. <laughs> you got excited. <laughs> My my favorite, my most spectacularly favorite crash was when I, I I did a I did a Vespa sideways on the ice, which anyone who's oh, ever wow. ridden a Vespa they they yes. they're not they're not very well balanced because the engine's on one side. I used to have one actually a Vespa. That's the only motorbike I've ever had. And do you know what? In the uh, bad weather. <laughs> yeah, but I can I have there's a joke I do with my dad, which is totally true. Which is if you're riding in bad weather. If you say to any motorcyclist who's crashed in bad weather, what's the last thing that went through your head? Which I promise it was this, which is they nearly slid, caught it, and went, fuck, I'm good at this. And then, <laughs> <laughs> then it went. And I went, I went sideways down the road, let the bike go, because my dad says the bike's worth less than your legs, so I always let go. So I let go, and what made me laugh was lying in the road and people indicating around me. That's how, you know, how important <laughs> you are in the world. Where they're like... Yeah, I'm going to indicate there's a there's a body in the road. Fuck it. <laughs> you know, like, most people that indicated around you are the ones that you weaved in and out of traffic in the traffic jam. Yeah, that's why they don't care. They're adamant that you got what you deserved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and I got I got one more question for you. Have you always worn peaks indoors? <laughs> uh, snapbacks. Yeah. Snapbacks, peaks, they're all the same thing. Um, yeah, you know, I was a, uh, I've always been a big lover of uh, like baseball hats and, and hats in, in general. You don't look like a man who's got like a sweep over. So no, no, no. no. You're not trying to hide a bald spot. You're not trying to. Hide no, no. I've actually, I've actually got like a ponytail to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know what? It's a funny story. I never, because uh, I know top knots and things were a big thing a couple of years ago, but I never wanted that. I actually have you ever seen that film Fury by Brad Pitt? Yeah. yeah. And his hairstyle in that, I loved that. And I kept saying, just take it off the back and sides, take off the back and sides, because I wanted it longer to have that hairstyle. And it just got longer and longer. And I was like, shit, I've got to tie this up for work. <laughs> and and then that's what it is. Yeah. And so the snapback is when I can't be asked to do anything with my hair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't feel like styling my hair is gonna cover it up. I'm just wrecking the thing. Um, but yeah, yeah that's right. it. Well, Just right. That, that, that's about as serious as my questions get. Yeah, no, it's perfect. Yeah, was cheers for coming on, Brad. Well, thank you very much for coming on. Again, was, uh, Except thank you very much for coming on, Brad, but I'm going to say thank you very much for coming on, Vinny. Sorry, I'm just trying to say thank you for having me. Okay, we're going to have a reading from the Trump 
There's only time for one very quick one. Go, go, go. Uh, okay, this one's called Everybody Loves Me. <laughs> Tom Brady loves me. The people of New York, they love me. Upstate New York, I'm like the most popular person that's ever lived. The bikers love me. You know who loves me? The tea party. The evangelists. My children could not love me more if I spent 15 times more time with them. The vets love me. The African Americans love me. The Asians love me. Many Hispanics who love me. Most com conservatives love me. Society loves me. You are going to love me, or I will spill the beans on your wife. <laughs> I really, really like it. Oh, oh dear. Right. I think I think that Morning is sweet. But it was good. It was good. It was good. I think that is it for the Idea Lame show. Oh, thanks, thanks, Mike. Mike. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna cut think, it short tonight. Yeah, we're um, gonna cut it short and uh, just let you know we're actually um I don't know how to say this. We're actually gonna be uh, taking a break um for about um I don't know, what did we say? But seven days. It's seven, 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 I thought it was yeah. six months. Six, Yes, <laughs> six, seven days. We're probably going to be back next Thursday at 9 p.m. We're going to take a break. See you next Thursday. See you next Thursday. Like, like and guys. subscribe. Care, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like and subscribe. Just get to smash that like button. Smash, smash that button. Dislike. Dislike as well. Dislike. Ruin your mouse, ruin your keyboard, destroy like. that like button. Dislike. Quick.